Check one, two. Check one, two. Testing, testing. Takes a sip of chocolate raspberry milk. Can everyone hear me okay? Can everyone hear the game audio okay? Are y'all alive out there? Because let me tell you, in this heat, I sure as hell am not. Don't worry, I've got a full, full growler of ice water, and uh, my wife's friend brought me a chocolate mocha milk, so I will stay hydrated, but it's not going to be fun. It is, it is currently about 93 degrees over here, and it's supposed to be 98 tomorrow. Uh, in Burbank, it's supposed to be 103 tomorrow and 110 on Monday. So, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <sighs> All right, well, I think everyone's saying they're able to hear it, so I think it's about time we bring in the peeps. Say hello, uh, Sean, everybody. have you advertised the stream anywhere? Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> but I'm going to go All ahead right. and do that right now because I'm All so right. tired while you guys stall for time. Hell All yeah. Right. Do we also get to see the Discord stream? Wait, what? Oh, He's my God. So oh, that color aspect. I am so <laughs> not ready. Yes, you do. The weather. Only, the because, weather. only because you asked nicely. Here you go. Oh. Look at that. You get a whole starting Thank soon you. screen. Don't you feel fucking proud of yourselves? Stall. Stall, everybody. Stall. Stall, stall. Uh, have, I, have I told you guys what amazing artists Emmy Ain and Color Bruce are? <gasps> How I mean, they're you? emotes. Oh, Holy yeah. shit. But you should say it again. I don't think you have. <laughs> KL, I think you should tell us a story about how amazing artists they are because oh. I haven't heard. Oh man. I just, I just can just imagine Emmy like, oh, stop. Oh, stop. Go on. <laughs> go on. Oh, go, go. Do it. Do it. It's so good. Maybe you should go check out the emotes, especially the blep emotes that well, you can't right. see on the let screen me, anymore, let me see, but they're there. Let me see if all four of them are accessible now. I believe they should all be accessible now. Uh, I see both the Shinx blep and the Lux blep. I see, I see the Lux blep, and I see both of the Shinx ones, but I don't know if they're There's all... The, oh, the Shinx Angie. I don't see the What's the last one? I did Greg. add it. I did add it. So let me check and see if it's still being processed. There's, a, the blip. <laughs> there's a grumpy uh, Luxray blip. Yes. Yeah, Lu <laughs> Lux Grump is still in, uh, it's still being approved. Did you did you upload all of those at the same time? No, I uploaded them as I got them. So. Yep. Oh, okay. I was like, that's so weird that like only three of them do. Shinx Grump is going to be my exclusive favorite. No, I'm sorry, ex exclusive. <laughs> ex exclusive. Dang it, I was gonna make that pun. Dang. <laughs> I'm B. How's everyone just... doing today? That's that's to chat as well as my victim. I mean, Freezing. volunteers over here. Victims. I woke up at 5 a.m. to get my car's oil changed, and then I took a nap when I got home because humans aren't supposed to wake up that early. Oh, oh sounds like a they're good not. Day. I stayed <laughs> up until 4 a.m. because I planned on playing Crystal Chronicles, did absolutely everything except for playing Crystal Chronicles, passed out on the couch, woke up at around 11.30, went to eat a late lunch with the wife at Mitsuma Marketplace, ran an errand, came back, half slept on the bed i was conscious but not paying attention to anything until around 4 30 and now we're here you gain all your mana uh, back in that trance no i didn't yeah. gain i oh, didn't no. gain jack no. shit i just kind of suffered quietly damn damn damn, oh. damn well now you can suffer damn. loudly i also got fucking peshed last night at an izakaya that was fun oh that sounds good oh my god come to vegas dude Sean's story was done in like rapid Vega. screen transitions in my mind. <laughs> so, uh, giving a heads up for you guys today, for those of you who are not on the Discord, uh, we did pan out who we need for volunteers today, but the only real major volunteer role today is our weekly gumshoe uh, possession. Um, <laughs> there are some random jury members, uh, which I think are akin to when we had people in the cast just randomly shout out. So I can open it for three slots today if you guys want, but this is your warning. 
if you are a volunteer and you are not playing gumshoe, it is very likely that you're going to talk all of maybe two to three times, and that's it. So do not spend the points if you are uh, not okay with that. Um, it's just how it is. To, for the sake of everyone's sanity and because it's been paced out really well, we've been doing two parts per episode. Today is going to be parts one and two of the day two trial. Um, so be, because of that, the only volunteer role we have that's major is Gumshoe, and then outside of that, it's just very, very minor appearances. <coughs> With that being said, I am going to go ahead and open the rewards in three, two... One. Get him. They are live. And now we wait. There's one. There's two. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, dang. There's three. We're closed. Get out of here. <laughs> you said this is the day two trial? It is the day two trial, parts one and two. Oh, episode, God. episode four will be investigation uh, day three and trial part one day three. And then the final episode will be Trials Parts 2 and 3, Day 3. Oh, dear God. Oh, I forgot how big this thing was. Right? Yeah, yeah. We get, we get some, we get some fun chapter. KO. Like, I'm actually at the walkthrough right now, and I'm just I'm just at the, uh, like, the table of contents for each one. So it's like, oh, there's four parts for right. Case 2. There's now, six uh, parts for Case 3. Right. Shido Hari, Mega Gamer, and Linux Player, please find yourselves into the waiting room. I think I can take this away by now. Uh, boop, there we go. What's up, everybody? Once again, no webcam on these days. It's supposed to be focused on the cast. I can probably get rid of... Well, who cares about these characters anymore, man? Like, that game Chris is old is news. So, like, a week ago. Man, who even plays that baby game? <laughs> God. Uh, no webcam during this because we're focused on the chat, but that means the left sidebar is for any and all of your fan art within reason. If you would like to submit something based on the current case or something that happened during the stream, please submit it to Megastar Fan Art. I will try to check periodically. I cannot guarantee that every piece of fan art will be put on the stream, but I will generally do my best to find openings to do so. With that, let's bring in our volunteers. We've got Electronic, 664DD, we've got Shidohari, and our first redeemer of the evening, Mega Gamer Alexial. How are you guys? Quiet, but outside of what? that, how else are you? I feel like I the okay. Door of the Explorer episode. <laughs> that is your turn to speak. Remember guys, you are on push to talk. Oh, that's probably why. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you for setting oh, that yeah, back, by the way. Yeah. That ice cream sounds really good right now. Right? I don't know if my thing's working or there not. There it is. We can hear you, Mega there Gamer. There's one. Sorry, I forgot what my push to talk button There's Shido Hari. That's two. We got our third. And I did hear electronic as well. Okay, cool. All right. Well, uh, Mega Gamer, as the first redeemer, you do have first dibs. Uh, did you want to take the role of Godshu for this week? Um, is it okay if I just do jury? Yeah, you can totally do jury. That means we will move on to our second person, Shido Hari. Would you like to voice Godshu? I would try to voice Godshu for sure. Do I have time to uh, get something to drink and stuff before we start? Yeah. Also, where do I find the script? Uh, it will be on screen. I'm actually sharing my screen live right now. You should be able to click watch stream. Um, oh yeah, I should open that. And <laughs> it, it will show you what I see on my OBS studio. And you'll you'll actually see it about three or four seconds faster than you would watching the stream. So it helps keep time. Yes. Okay, I've got the screen up. I'm going to step away for five seconds. I just wanted to make sure I was viewing the right thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. All right, well, while we're waiting for them to come back, uh, I will just remind chat, this is a blind live dub playthrough of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. We are on case five of game one. Um, couple ground rules. Uh, I am trying to go through this completely blind. 
So while you can joke about choices that I've made or theories that I've made, please do not spoil anything at any point or tell me, hey, maybe you should try this. Have you checked this? If I seem genuinely lost and I'm like, I don't know how to progress, I will make it very obvious that I'm asking for help. If I am not asking for help and you provide it, my mods have permission to mute you for whatever time is necessary. That's not because I'm upset. That's because I want this to be a fresh experience for everybody. The other reason is because when I screw up, everybody wins. This is a hard mode playthrough, but Sonic Mega, there isn't a hard mode on Ace Attorney. Not with that attitude, there's not. So anytime <laughs> I present the wrong evidence in court and get slapped on the wrist, my wrist gets slapped so hard it clicks on the gift a sub button and one of you gets a random sub to the channel for a month. Woohoo! Yay! I believe the worst run we ever had was when I presented, what was it? Eight, ten different pieces of evidence before finally getting it right. Yeah, it was like <laughs> it was one of the testimonies on this case specifically. I think it was the first day of it. We gifted twenty subs in a single episode from trying to present the correct evidence. God, that was glorious. Also, was... quick review of the rules for those of you in the voice call. There is rules when it comes to uh, being our voice actors here. Um, Please stay muted if you're not stating a line. Um, some banter is totally okay and some improv is okay. Just make sure you're not speaking over other people when they're trying to read their lines. I will make this even more fun just because I enjoyed what we do, did for Crystal Chronicles and because I know it won't happen. If we get through, and I know we're very close to being done, but if we get through an episode that involves a trial and I always present the evidence correctly the first time, I give away a copy of the game at the end of the stream. Oh, that's not Ooh. happening. It's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not but happening. But I figure I would... I am. I three more episodes, and two of the three involve two trial sections. Right. So, I figure that would be... Why are you insane? Everyone everyone assumes that that's a thing that's ever going to happen with a blind playthrough. <sighs> Shido, are you back yet? Yes, I am. I was just telling a friend of mine who's into Ace but can't watch because she doesn't have access to Twitch what I was doing, and she's just freaking out. Okay. Nice. Uh, are you are you good to go, though? Yes, I am. Sorry. No worries. Uh, any any questions from anybody else before we begin? Also, thank you for the, the six-month sub, Kiro Sveda. Good to have you back. All right, well, with that in mind, uh, if the audio sounds good, if the music sounds decent enough without being overpowering, I guess we are ready to begin. Here's the fun part. It's been long enough that I have no fucking idea where we left off. Like, I'm gonna look at this evidence and be like, ah, I think at some point I, I looked at this. I don't remember what it's from. I know that there's a number on my badge though. I know I'm not letting that go until we find out what the number on that badge is for. <laughs> new new attorney, what this? As he holds up the piece of evidence. All right. I mean, you only had a week of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. What could go wrong? Exactly. Well, You're now start it's time. Crystal Chronicles references in court. Now it's time for Phoenix Phoenix Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Episode Five: Rise from the Ashes, Day Three, Part One: Slumber Heart Super Medley 2.8 Final Remix. Let's begin. That sounds like a lot. February 24th, 9.41 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. So, what do you think, Mr. Wright? I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all... Lana! That's Lana. It's Tez. That's not that's, that's Asbel. That's Asbel. Sorry. The victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. F Lana! Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. We just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. So, how'd it go? 
It's as Mr. Wright suspects. The police are clueless. I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. A uh, plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed that if I told them the truth behind this simultaneous murder, they, would s they wouldn't seek capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. But Lana! Don't tell me you... Much to my regret. I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. This sky. Hmm? We found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of... trace evidence? Blood-stained fingerprints, to be exact. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? In order to defend my sister, you're going to accuse Mr. Marshall? We have to play the cards we're dealt. Isn't that right, Miss Skye? Do what you have to do, Mr. Wright. February 24th, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court. Courtroom number nine. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor, but apparently not ready to do this stream because I never actually tweeted that we were doing the stream. <laughs> How can so I judge can without we, an can audience? We do this? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, you know, we could always do a take two. We could always do a take two. No, we're good. Um, day is. Double trial Tuesday, but not actually Tuesday. Wasn't that the whole reason we stalled earlier? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. The weather? Because I was talking about the weather? Because I'm like, wait. It... Mm. Rolled for blooper reel. Rolled for blooper reel. How will we get my leftovers? I, I'm ready to stall oh as long God. as you want. My laptop is running so hot because of this heat. It's really bad. How are we going to get jury noises with a jury? <laughs> I'm going to ah, I'm going to no. oh, I'm going to post this and I'm going to advertise it. Oh, one thing I do need to warn you about out of courtesy. I am a type 2 diabetic. I'm fine. I'm medicated, but um it uh, does affect my uh, it does affect some of my uh, use of facilities. Mm. So, okay. so I should be more. fine as long as I know when I'm I'm I, I, when when I'm not going to be needed. Okay. I should be fine. Uh, I would ask Sign about that in DM because I have no idea regarding when specific characters will show up. So that is that is something that I have no control over. Oh, that's fine. I, I, I am here for the long haul. I just needed to do the courtesy thing. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, letting me know. So let's see. We'll advertise there. We will advertise here. We'll go over here to the other Discord. Advertise there. We'll go over here because I have community tagging rights. We'll post it there. No that's one color bruise. No one will check it out. That's okay. I'm used to rejection. I'm a voice actor. I'm already here. I care. Aww. Yeah. I care for you too. All right. Now, now we are ready to continue. Why'd you put soup? Life is soup. I put in the. Why are we talking about soup? Classic Vim. Uh, what's Classic your favorite soup? I, mine's broccoli and cheddar. Dude, cream of mushroom. My milk is gone. <laughs> My life is suffering. You nerds, get your alphabet soup. All right. I'm gonna go grab my. Replacement Starbucks drink from the freezer. He's got a replacement oh, Starbucks geez. drink in the freezer. How can, how can I judge without an audience? My like, idol Judge Duty Judge Duty does it all the time. Of this. this this looks like what you described. It's 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 Rebecca's Mountain Dew. But what happened to the original what? Starbucks? The because Tom's Karen would not this drink time. this. If Karen saw a drink like this, she would demand to speak to the manager. But what happened to the original Starbucks drink? Like, why do you have a backup? 
uh, because I didn't finish it before passing out for the evening, but it sat out all night, so I wanted to cool it down, so I put it in the freezer. That is some big brain energy. <laughs> but let I me, got nothing for this. Let me let me save this so I can share it with the rest of the world. Oh, I should go get water. Yes. Image. Okay, everybody's taking another five minute break for uh, snackies and stuff sounding like. No, no, I'm just showing this off there. There. Look at that. Look at that drinky drink. There's my <laughs> there's my verification can. That is a sippy. That looks Couldn't that you just nice turned on the webcam? That, is that antifreeze? Right? <laughs> this is like this is like antifreeze for a vegetarian's car. What hey. that used to be. <laughs> What? That drink what tastes like when you chew gum, then drink water. What it's like to drink five <laughs> gum. Does that have a weird taste? Like, I've done that before. Is that, like, a weird thing? It's nice it's, and tart. It's happened for me when, like, when you drink, like, or when you uh, chew spearmint gum and then drink water, like, you get ice water without needing the ice. Huh? Okay. All right. We all good to continue? Has the defense yep. properly properly advertised? The defense has finished stalling for time, Your Honor. I mm -hmm. finally have my shit together and let the record mm -hmm. show that. How was Crystal Chronicles? The prosecution is... Mm hmm. 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 That's my line. I'm afraid you'll have to clarify, though. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Yet, the victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Wow, this is one messed up trial. One of my duties as prosecutor is to prevent impartial evidence. Today I will present evidence relating to the murder at the police department. In so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that's what sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds so on top of things. There's that ESP hitting me again. <laughs> Even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be an admirable trait? Very well, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edgeworth, you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For its first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The Suspect? You mean the so-called murderer? Oh boy. Things are getting wild from the get-go. Oh boy. Oh no! Yes. Will the oh, witness wow. please state his name and occupation? Yes, sir! I am Officer Mike Meekin, sir! Uh, I missed this. My occupation is, um... That would be murderer, sir! <laughs> uh, uh, so you're telling us you're a professional killer? Sir, it was me, sir! I'm the one who did it! I'll never kill anyone again, sir! You gotta believe me, sir! I love this so much! How did you... Sir, I'm what you would call part of the younger generation, sir. A person whose actions adults can't possibly comprehend! Please, Mr. Edgeworth, sir, help me, sir! Officer Meekins. Yes, sir! Give us your report of the crime. Consider that an order? Yes, sir! As you wish! After all, I am part of a generation that must be told what to do, sir. You can't fault him for a lack of enthusiasm. 
Crime report, sir. <laughs> Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life, and I... I did it. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> After that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. <laughs> So the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you? Do unto others, we do unto two others before they do unto you! Exclamation point! That's the Meekins family motto, sir! I, I see. Uh, then you fainted and a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir! He knocked me upside the head, sir! Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. What I need here is more info to work with. Up to you if you want to reread each section. I got you, fam. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. In green. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir! I am in charge of hiring new recruits, sir! Yikes! Now there's a scary thought. Edgy. Evidence transfer was taking place at the time of the crime. Which mean which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily to perform. I was in charge of guarding the blue badger, sir. Blue badger? Yes, sir! The lovely police mascot created by the Chief of Detectives, sir! I'm the Tails doll! Repurposed! <laughs> it was to ensure it wasn't broken during the transferal process. Transferal. <laughs> that was my sole mission for the day, sir! Did you say soul? Oh, dear God. <laughs> Mom, pick me up, I'm scared. Did anybody else hear that? It sounds like a very, uh, important mission. <laughs> After the award ceremony finished that day, there were so many people running around that I relocated the Blue Badger to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? Dot, dot, dot. There it is! I found it! This is the one right here! Could you please read us the number? Yes, sir! It's 4989596! That's go. my number, sir. <laughs> I'm so tempted to die. I'm so tempted to just dial that number on my phone right now and, like, <laughs> see, who, see who it calls. I see. Huh? But the number 4989596. Is shown as being used twice. Please explain, witness. It's n n n no real mystery, sir. The first time is when I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room, and the second time is when I went to go get him after everything settled down. All right, tell you what, tell you what, chat. Hold on. Uh, four nine eight. Nine five nine six. You're not. You're not. Oh no. Oh, no. Wait, Sean, you if you do this, you need to ask if they're Michael Meekins. I am. They have. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. God, stop. Please. Please no. Wow. Wait, what's happening? I'm scared. Oh, oh, my God. God. Hi, is, is Mr. Meekins oh. there? Nope. Mr. Meekins. Yeah, is Mr. Is this Mr. Meekins' number? 
Meekins? I'm sorry? No, uh, Mike. Mike Meekins. Mike Meekins? Yes. No, this isn't, no. Okay. Don't so, know any Meekins, actually. Alright, I apologize. This must be a wrong number. Thank you. Thank you. Mike, you fucking liar! <laughs> you fucking liar! <laughs> you fucking liar! <laughs> <laughs> that you went this far for the bit. You know, you know, <laughs> you know. But He's but the so worst part was he didn't he didn't, say, he didn't say he didn't say I don't know a Meekins. He went Jerry Meekins, and I want to know who Jerry Meekins is. Meekins. <laughs> <laughs> The mystery. the mystery of Jerry. It's Meekins, like yeah. Mr. Meekins. No, Mike. Call That's me Mike. Exactly Jerry is my him. father. <laughs> We we can we came in wanting a meme. We came out with like unsolved mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So it was during that second time when. Yes, sir. That was an eye. Jerry Meekins spotted the man on the security screen. <laughs> Data added to the ID card record. I hate this so fucking much. <laughs> I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir! I was suddenly attacked! Maybe he's Jerry Meekins, and he just didn't want to, like, reckon- He's like, listen, ever since my son really got into, like, law enforcement, I kind of cut contact with him. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to anymore. Please stop asking me about him. <laughs> this is- this is why Mike acts this way. He just wants to get back in touch with his dad. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir! A knifey! Uh, Detective Goodman pulled a knifey on you? What happened then? Well, with me charging in on him like that, bloom, 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 he looked as surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. That's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus, struggling to detain him. That's how I got this gash on my hand. I think it already did. No, it didn't. Maybe if you just kept your cool, your hand wouldn't be. Also, uh, there's a giant storm over our head, so if we cut, if we cut out, that's why. Okay, noted. Uh, these these are already cut out. So oh, I heard that. Oh, yeah. oh, that was gnarly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I disappear, that's why. BZ is already dead. Are you playing again? Jesus. I'm Emma. Remember me. <laughs> Remember me. I love you, BZ. So I'll stick around until it forcibly removes me. <laughs> please don't die. I oh, love no, you. Fine. Please don't die. Yes, please you don't. don't. We would not like Thumb Gaga to go over your head and electrocute the crap out of you. No, 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 no it's fine. I'm indoors. I'm safe. These storms are normal. All right. Hmm. We'll make sure to give you thunderous applause for every performance you do. I grabbed the man by his collar. I'm too soon. I fought for my life. Then I... I did it. What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. The man let his guard down for just an instant, so I snatched his knife from him! You took his knife? I spun him around and performed a disarming maneuver! What you got there, Meekins? A knife! No! <laughs> I made mean, sure... I made sure to close my eyes like a man. I, uh, <laughs> see. He must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of my blood. And then, then, the next thing I knew. Yes? He punched me right in my face, sir! Ooh, that's a decking. <laughs> After that, I passed out. Until another officer smacked me away. About what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious. Oh. <laughs> right. 
According to the report from the officer that woke up at the, that woke up the witness, it was about 5:30. Oh my god. That was that was the most like adorable right. shutdown. <laughs> right the head too. I woke up crying tears of pain. That's nice. I mean, uh, it's nice that you recovered. That is. When I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir. The Blue Badger, sir. I returned him to the entrance before things got out of hand. Well, we can all rest easy now. I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. I have no idea what's going on. Neither do I, actually. Ditto that. Triple that. Yes, Your Honor, only one thing remains unclear. Hold on. Hated, hated, hated. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this short right now. I did it as a one time thing. I'm not gonna call every number on that list. I do not condone mass prank calling. I I feel like my call was relatively harmless because all I did was ask if a certain person was there, and as soon as they said no, I excused myself and hung up. I do not condone, condone doing it en masse, and if I find out that people are crank calling the numbers on stream that I presented, I will ban you. So do not. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm glad we could enjoy this moment as a stream, but it is a one-off thing. Do not follow up on that. Thank you. We will swing the hammer. Uh, was the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Um. Yes, Officer Meekins. <clears throat> uh, w with Wait. regard to that, sir. Take a look at this! It was sent to my jail cell. Chief Gant delivered it to me just this morning, sir. The Chief. Delivered it? What is that? A uh, videotape? Yes, sir! That's absolutely right, sir! A videotape, sir! It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room! What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape, and was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm really good at. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. Well then, let's have a look. Show us the video of you murdering the victim. I'll make the popcorn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> leave the butter off of mine. <laughs> Please stop using that word, murder, sir. It scares me. We'll, we'll call it life hacking. Of course. <laughs> no, no, you've been, you've been, what's our new word? Our befuckled? <laughs> <laughs> Show us the person you befuckled. A you've video, been not alive? A video of a real your, befuckling. Your life has been hacked? Just mm. what are we getting ourselves into? We cannot say murder. We have to say befuckled or beheckled for the rest of the stream. God, is this Five Nights at Freddy's? What the fuck? Oh, oh this is not... I hate it. I don't need this image. I don't like horror oh. games. This is gonna for the rest <laughs> don't of my like Yo, this was them testing 3D before it was a thing. I mean, yeah. Oh, there he is. <gasps> Gotta love everything hiding the identity. Oh wow. my god. Five nights at Mikey's. Oh! <laughs> oh! This is Five seriously, this is Five Nights at Freddy's and Meekins is the old security guard. Oh no, I can't watch. Never mind, I can watch. Get him. No. Lupin no. the third! Ow! You heck. Be heckle this! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I wow, well, I can't believe there. Mike Meekins is heckin' dead. Uh. Mm. 
Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. I need more popcorn. I mean, how can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? Judge, why is Blue Badger in your search history? Hmm. No nice questions. What the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? The reason why Blue Badger is in his search history? <laughs> My persona, sir. That is the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. More like criminal affairs <laughs> department. <laughs> it's the blue badger, sir. Persona. Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, anyway. Search history aside, uh, this tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter uh, someone in the evidence room. And some sort of, uh, activity did take place. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that alright with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir! As you wish, sir! We're not even 45 minutes into this stream, and I'm like, I need a break! <laughs> Mystery man! <laughs> His face can't be clearly seen on this game. <laughs> My face can't be clearly seen because of that Luxray in the video, but there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. Mm, no, I actually meant what is a fingerprint? I have no idea. I mean, oh, it's this little thing on your finger? It's really hecking cool. Interesting. Well, that would mean that the victim at the crime scene would have to have been Detective Goodman. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I don't know where this cross-examination will lead, but everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. Everything actually begins with the letter E. <laughs> Every killer begins with K. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Oh man. <laughs> I... Tell me. Were you able to get a good look at him? At the face of the man who attacked you with a knife? Was that the knife of 87? <laughs> s -s 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 Sir, if you must label people as having seen or not seen the man's face, I believe I would be classified as the latter. Or, the or are you a stepladder? A step ladder? ladder? <laughs> but you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you're the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh, uh, yes, sir. But I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking with them, you see. I was so convinced that the eyes that Cyan just posted would manage to float up onto Meekin's face. <laughs> and for like a half, for like a split second, someone could screenshot it and just get a screenshot of Meekin's with the, with the stare eyes. <laughs> with the googly eyes. <laughs> All right. I have Pandora, give me sight beyond sight! Yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. Still, I'm sure it was him! I bet my badge on it! But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. But you don't know that for sure, do you? You never actually saw Detective Goodman's face. Well, I suppose you might say that. That is, if you must label people as having seen or not seen it. Well, since his face can't be identified in the video, only you can verify it. Exclamation point! Why is everyone looking at me? We're doing the thing that you didn't do. <laughs> if I had to label your stares as, quote, disturbing, end quote, or... <laughs> Having, please remain calm, Mr. Meekins. <laughs> what was that gasp? Oh my god! 
Oh, Meekins, you, you mean, I don't know if you killed the guy, but you're killing me. Now, please be more certain and calm when you testify. <laughs> yes, sir. You claimed the man who brandished a knife on you was Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you were positive it was him. <clears throat> I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. About these lockers, is there no other way to open them? No, sir. I myself tried all kinds of methods, including banging my head against them in the past. The only respond to red drag and speak correctly today, I swear, registered fingerprints, sir. I wonder what kind of methods he's tried. <laughs> <laughs> If the man opened the locker's lock, which only responds to its registered fingerprints... Yes, Judge Obvious? Then he must be the person the locker was assigned to. Hey, you did it, Judge! What Round of applause! Dude, hey. hold on, hold on, hold on. You connected the dots, Judge! Good job! Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's how I got my Judge degree, everybody. <laughs> Detective. You get the banana sticker. <laughs> Do I get the orange sticker? I'm allergic to bananas. Exactly my point, sir! You're allergic to bananas! And this, too! <laughs> what else is he allergic to? <laughs> the, maybe not the locker, but the locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir, that he is not allergic to. Do you need an <laughs> Oh, no. I've heard rumors, sir, from people in the know, sir. People in the know? The workers in the department cafeteria, sir. They keep me informed. They also listen to my romantic troubles, sir. For the record, the opened locker did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information through a more reliable source. Hmm. So the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. So it must be him! No one else could have unlocked it! However, the most important detail is not shown in this video. The man's face! Sir! If I may say something, sir! Please, do. After all, you are the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock. And it was his hand that tried to thrust his knife into my body, sir! My own subtle state can testify enough to this, sir! Mm, yes, you have a point. Footage doesn't lie. That is... Unless the defense can find a problem with it. Mr. Wright, let's check the court record again. Is there a problem with the security video? I'm gonna hope so, because I have no idea what to do! Regarding the video contained on this tape, there is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the possibility that the man may not have been Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a contradiction? Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I propose we have the defense point out to us this alleged contradiction in the video. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, yeah, you my should get a court record next time before you just say things. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, this is how the judiciary system works here, isn't it? Just kind of bullshit things until it happens. And everything's made up and the evidence doesn't matter. <laughs> this is better than whose line is it anyway? I hate it. I hate it. I love it. I don't like Look at this. it. The only thing that would make it better is if it played a little jingle as it moved. <laughs> oh, do not even. All he needs to do is play his kazoo. Yeah, just a little like. Dun, 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 oh, and it has to be like discordant, like it's a broken music box. Oh no! 
No. Tails all vibes intensify. Yeah. No. I don't know okay. Okay. So I think I think I know what's going on. I think I know what's going on. First of all, first of all, there was a beep, but it was at. Oh, it was at 5:14. Okay, so that lines up. Tag says SL911. I guess this is another piece of evidence from that case. You know, I never did care for the word tag. It's confusing. Huh? <laughs> What's so confusing about that? Do you know how many other words sound like it? Bag, gag, nag, lag, zag. Zag? Is that a word? Do you really challenge me? What, are we playing a word game now? Are we in a fight? Let's that was, go. That was some envy energy for a second. Like, are you challenging me? <laughs> Heaven or hell, let's rock. <laughs> yes, give me, give me, give me a gear stride already. Hey, look, they're hard to make out, but there's some dark red stains here. Looks like blood. Do you think Detective Goodman's blood somehow got on this when he was stabbed? Not likely. This blood looks like it's been here for months. Maybe longer. This jar was evidence in the SL9 incident. That might be when the blood got on it. Uh-huh. This thing doesn't have a bottom. That's weird. I wonder which side is up. Better yet, what's the purpose of a bottomless jar? Bottomless <gasps> jar. <laughs> At least it doesn't collect dust inside, right? Looks like one of those Pikmin monsters. Yeah, it does. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> you mean uh, the flamethrowing pig thing? You would want me to point it out. I'm gonna check that video again. All right, so I see a couple things. So Meekins comes in before it hits 15. Okay, so that that locker is lit up. The second from the left. He walks in. It was already, it was already lit up. It was already lit up when he walked in. Oh, oh, there's me. <laughs> there she getting stabbed. <laughs> it hurts every time I watch it. Deck him, deck him, Meekins. It, ugh. Okay, what? All right, all right. I want. I'm gonna watch this again. There's three major things here, and I feel like I've I've clued in. So first, keep an eye on the right. The second door from the left is already lit up. That's probably what I'm gonna have to detect. He didn't use his fingerprint. It was already open. You see him walk in. Keep an eye on the far left. On the far left, top left, uh, locker, on that side. So we go back to the right. He opens the door, which was already lit up. Glove falls out. Okay, cool. There's Meekins. Keep keep an eye on that far upper left locker. Stick attack, watch out! Something something unimportant happens. They fight over a holographic Charizard card. I totally understand. But look back on that far left locker. Okay. Base set two. Okay. okay. Scroll back over. Tails doll has fully possessed us by now. The problem's finally taken care of. We scroll back to the left one last time. Look at that far upper left locker. Up Bam! Left. That was not oh. there. Oh! Good eye. That was not there. Very well, Mr. I see everything. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. 
I will now play the security tape. Literally do what you just did. Mr. Wright? Go on. I have to point out a problem in the video. This is the first time I've ever had to do that. You just did it. You can do it, Mr. Wright. It's set up so you can fast forward, rewind, or pause the video. Just take a good look and be sure to point out the right thing. Well, I, I know things to point out. I just don't know what thing the game is specifically looking for. Don't fuck it up. Please don't play it too many times. I I can't stand watching this video. I can. How did yeah. this guy well, ever become a police times, officer? Not only do you get stabbed a lot, but he also loses his life in the courtroom. You know. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wright, please enlighten us. Where is the contradiction that indicates the man? Very, very drop. Now I can watch him get decked in high speed. Speed decking strat. Hey, Stiga! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my guess is I can't I can't select this piece right here because just because the light is lit up doesn't mean <sighs> No, maybe it does. <sighs> Jimmy Shy game is pretty stupid. If you press the X button, you get a present. It, it says so. It's one <laughs> It's one of these two. I mean, in that case, I mean, it's only one gift sub, right? <sighs> Here comes that first gift sub. The thing that's strange about this video has got to be this! Officer Meekins. Sir! Did, uh, do you mean me, sir, or Jerry? As I understand it, the locker apparatus works like this. When you grab the handle, a sensor reads your fingerprint. If it's a match, the light turns on and the lock is released. Ah, uh, according to my very limited exper experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. If so, then something is seriously wrong with this picture. It's that thing! That fucking thing right there! <laughs> Don't insult the Look at Look at his- he's already got a handprint! He already claimed a victim! Just- just imagine, like, the song that plays in Small World, but really slow and discordant. It's oh no. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> it's a tainted evidence room. It's <laughs> when the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker, let's rewind to a little earlier. Here! Notice the light? What's this? It's... it's already lit. Precisely my point, Your Honor. The locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle! <laughs> Jesus. You're right there, Meekins. What's the <laughs> meaning of this? Meekins, do you need us to call 911? I think I'm fine. What is the meaning of this? It's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. A locktronic. <laughs> when a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. No, I know. It must have broken down. And of course, uh, I'm not an expert in this. N uh, new, not electronics, I mean law. New testimony after the locker was locked. <laughs> <laughs> That's not likely. The sensor would detect any... Would detect and report any malfunction. No, well... Well, it just goes to show that novices should keep their mouth shut. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation, Mr. Not Novice? Me, Your Honor? Yes. Why wasn't the locker locked? Me, Your Honor? Yes. Jerry Wright. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, uh, 
You see, uh, this isn't exactly my field. <laughs> what do you think, Miss Scientific Lock Investigator? Huh? Oh, um... Maybe something like, uh, jammed the system sensor? <laughs> my, your favorite, Mike. Edgeworth is about to update the lock topsy report. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something jammed the sensor? Say... There's something else that seems out of place in this video. Yeah, I thought so too. There's gotta be another clue somewhere in this footage. Very well. Let us inspect the video once more. The locker wasn't locked. Mr. Wright, please point out the cause for this. All right, so it could be one of two things. It could either be he took the handkerchief out and then put it back in that locker hastily afterwards. But the most likely thing the most likely thing is that when he opened the door, everybody this, walked the door. That fell out. Please watch closely. Look at this continuous photograph! <laughs> this is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier. Just keep your eyes on me. Be distracted. I am your focus. I am the alibi. I am your only attention. What's this? Where's my flashlight? Something white fell out of the locker. But sir, it's been my experience that things fall out when doors are opened. Is that how you found out your wife was cheating on you, Meekins? <laughs> Don't remind me about that. We can't be sure that item was completely inside the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? In inserted? Let's watch it again for the <laughs> eighth time. Right? Oh, this is my favorite episode. Thing's gonna be in my nightmares. Oh, same. This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Oh! I understand now, sir! It's just like my tie! Two out of three times it gets stuck in the door when I get out of my patrol vehicle, sir. Instead of the door closing... <clears throat> but the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Hey, what does this say about this piece of evidence? I no. wonder! Not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. <laughs> I wonder what it says about the evidence! I could, I could just imagine Phoenix just being like... Mm. He's just, he's literally standing there on the opposite side of the bench. Like, he's like, he's hunched over, staring at Edgeworth, tugging the rubber glove in both directions at the same time. Like, mm -hmm. Wow, and he's just like pointing out the obvious here. And Phoenix already knows. It would need to be an insulator. Yes, an insulator. But at the crime scene, there just might have been something that fits the description. No way! What? But, but, sir! No By insulator, you mean? I think I finally got this figured out. You think? Very well. Will the defense please present the relative, relevant evidence? What was this insulator that was stuck in the locker door? It was this cell phone! No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or was it the blue badger? I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove. But we can't sure be sure that that was in the victim's locker. It has a tag that says this was in the victim's locker. <laughs> oh! The video... That was like a speed racer, like, oh! Wait, that was what? perfect. What's going on? Just the way you were just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm sorry. Oh, it was way too good. <laughs> that is a perfect moment. The tag clearly says this was in the victim's locker. Whoa. Oh. The video <laughs> Uh, not to be contradictory, but this evidence. <laughs> the video seems to depict the victim back, opening people. the locker, but that isn't the case. The lit lamp attests to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. That's right, face. Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Oh, sir, it would appear so, sir. <laughs> Order! 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 Pew, 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 pew. So we are to believe then that the victim, whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room 37 times, was not Detective Goodman? Pew, 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 pew. Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense has merely demonstrated that possibly and nothing else more. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. What? <coughs> Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Sir! M me sir? I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Oh, ho, 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 you mean that, sir? Of course, sir! Is this a joke? I'm laughing. I mean, very well. You begin your testimony. Mystery Man, Electric Boogaloo. Howdy, I'm back. Welcome back, Beezy. He's back. There's one other thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card! An ID card record. Mm, I see. I have the RD ID card record right here, Your Honor. Did you update it? I don't know, did I? The ID Sorry, used. I didn't update it, sir. The ID used at five fourteen is that of the victim. Hmm. Just before the crime. Hmm? Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due for transfer. Why were there so few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for, sto for storing certain special cases. Clearly, I can't talk today. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too. Although it doesn't make much of a difference. There were only a few cases up for transferal there, and most were cleared up by noon. Right. I see. Now, let us move on to the cross-examination. Before we begin... Before we begin, I do have some fan art that I can put up. So, let's see. This first one... Whoop! I gotta save... Oh, I gotta resave it, because I accidentally wrote over that. This first one comes to us from Steel Helm, or Steel Giants, as he's going by right now. Boop. Oh, that's me. Yeah, it is you. I could go for some ice. I, you know what? Actually, shit, I might actually. <laughs> I have a big old pint of mint chocolate chip ice cream in the freezer. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. Yeah. So that's our first one. <laughs> Current to vote on these and see who gets to be the winner of the fan art. There's no winner of fan art. Everyone's a winner for contributing. Everyone's a winner. Everyone's a winner. Here's uh currently bothered. 
depicting <laughs> what I expect is going to happen at least once over the course of each uh, trial day. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. That's got to hurt. <sighs> what is this? I, uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, no, I'll swap this. <laughs> Currently bothered. Also has this second piece. <laughs> this is too good not to put up. I'm scared. Mike, Mike Meekins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is perfect. You're going to swap that never out? looked better. <gasps> <laughs> I like how it's spelled with two F's and one S. I'm a perruff! If you got it in that order, it actually makes sense with the two pictures. Oh. Oh my god. Before we continue. Oh, would what's you, up? Would you like to hear what happened that killed my connection? Because it's kind of. It's kind of wild. Sure. Uh, it's brief. The Ethernet box, the splitter, uh, a strike happened nearby during that storm and it passed through the cable box down that cable line and it completely fried port 2 on the ethernet splitter so i had to put it in port 4 oh so yeah it was, oh, it was hot to the touch like smoking hot did did it like fizzle did it like make a noise or i don't know it might have it might have there was a bit of smoke when i pulled it out though and it was hot to the touch so i assume that i'm going to have to replace that box yeah wow oh, shit. yeah that, i'm i'm glad you found out now oh yeah but yeah, continue. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Uh, uh, to, to enter, uh, there's one other thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. So, unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? Like a rock. Yes, sir, solid as stone, sir. If my hand wasn't wrapped in bandages. I even give the B4 victory sign, sir. Couldn't he just use his right hand for that? Let's hear him out fully. As we've seen, one never knows what he might say until the very last second. I'll keep you guessing. To enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. Is that card hanging from your neck one of these ID cards? No, that's my Charizard. Yes, sir! This card right next to my cuffs, sir. He's even posing like his card. I keep it here so I won't ever forget it. But what if someone were to steal it from you, keeping it out in the open like that? <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't wear it around my neck. <laughs> you remember when I said two out of three times my tie gets stuck when I get out of my car? <laughs> well, the remaining time, it's my ID card that gets stuck. Instead of the door closing, my ID card... <clears throat> Maybe I should just leave this one alone. At any rate, each police officer only has one ID card. Both the police department and the prosecutor's office can attest to this. Please proceed with your testimony. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it! On vinyl! Let it be noted that this is the record the witness referred to. Is it vinyl? Let me see. Yes, that would be it. It is indeed vinyl, and also Detective Goodman's. Uh, what's the matter? Um, according to this... Mr. Edgeworth, your name is on here. So it is, Your Honor. Oh, volunteers! I'll wait! I'll wait! Where's our volunteers? Electronic? Um... I'm right here. Okay, where's our other volunteer? Uh, Shidohari, or no, no, Alex. No, that's Alex. Yes. Okay, where's Electronic? Electronic, you here? He's here. He's got his mic on mute. There he is. There we go. All right, yeah, I need you guys to participate. Just make some jury comments about, like, that prosecutor again. Is he behind all this? Oh, uh, Mommy, is that man in the blue, the murderer? You too, Alexiel. I just did. Oh, okay. Sorry. You too, he Electronic. Really did. It would seem the Inquiry Committee will want to speak with you again today. I have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my, ac my actions or their consequences. For now, let us continue with the cross-examination. 
Poor Mr. Edgeworth. It must be so difficult for him. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card! Hold it! Earlier, I believe you testified that when you asked the man to show his ID card, he pulled a knife on you. Yes, sir! He didn't show me any ID card, sir! Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. Dot, dot, dot. M -m 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 maybe he just panicked! Everything like me! stems from contradictions. Let's point them out. Mr. Wright, what do you think? I'm confused. What? The problem with this ID card testimony is far too obvious. It's not like Edgeworth to miss something like this. You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, let's show them what we got. Uh, all right. It's obvious. I have not been paying attention. It's obvious this trial is missing hold it and objection. <sighs> There's a small tag on the knife. It says SL92. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure. It reminds me of a similar code. DL6. Maybe it's a case number? That's weird. What? I don't remember where, but I think I've seen something like this before. Something similar to what's written on this tag. It wasn't that long ago, either. Maybe I should check the court record again. <sighs> There's one other thing that proves the man. Imagine that one must use their ID card. There's a record of it. Used his card. Go forward. Still during 14, so he could have buzzed in by then. Dab? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What? What does it say there? What? I guess it is new. We haven't read this. A name and ID number are written here. Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID number 5842189. I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else would they use? Letters, silly. There's a reason we have a written language in the first place. True. Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID Yabadab. See? Wouldn't that be better? Yabadab? Well, it does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point. <laughs> it doesn't take much to amuse her. Uh, yes, I do have all the previous videos saved as highlight VODs, uh, Bulbasaur, so it should be easy to check them if you just go to my account. I do use there's a record of it. I gotta, I gotta think of what to present. There's so much evidence. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card. Oh, ye of little faith, I mean. Right. <laughs> Yes, 
16. What's oh, that, that got to do with anything? Nothing, apparently. At least that's what Edgeworth said. Hmm. That makes it seem all the more suspicious. Who knows? This might turn out to be the clue that breaks the case. Wouldn't that be nice? I almost want to guess, like, they used the screwdriver to, like, mess with the system and get in. But it did record him. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are we about to continue the perfect record? Did he lose his card on February 21st? <gasps> the music stopped! Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. Uh, I'm not good at waiting, sir! I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office! Um... Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. Uh, lost item report? It's only half completed. But it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out this report. Let me guess, you believe this something to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order! Order! So now, what does all this mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. What do you do? I'm not good at thinking. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Order, order, order. Does this prosecutor, does the prosecution have a response? Uh, I have only one thing to say to the defense. Huh? Bravo, Mr. Wright. B bravo Yes, bravo. Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 p.m. on the day of the crime... Thank you. The man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also fake. In other words, the security camera does not show the instant of the murder. Uh, th that is... <laughs> well, I, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Only moments ago you seemed content to be pointing your finger around as I'm doing now. This isn't going to end well. Even more finger stuff. That was Von well, Karma right there. What? Well, well, it seems you've finally realized exactly what you've gone such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. No, I'm probably gonna have the defense do it anyways. <laughs> oh. As I just said, the defense has already done the explaining for me. <laughs> the victim in this video is a fake, which means the murder did not take place at the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So... So the real crime can only take place at one location, the underground parking lot. At the prosecutor's office, the murder the murderer being Miss Lana Sky, the defendant. The evidence is compelling. 
a trustworthy witness, observed the moment of the defendant used the murder weapon. Uh, I can't scream as good as Meekins. <laughs> oh. oh. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Just so, Your Honor. Mr. White, you have to do something, or else Lana... How do I do? How am I supposed to get out myself out of this mess? One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. As we will slowly realize. <laughs> Any second now. Any second now. I'm still waiting. However, it cannot be said that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Oh, the game didn't even give me a chance to point it out. Specifically, Large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. The defense defan defans? The defense demands further examination into the truth of the matter. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor? If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses would be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. What up, Joy? This just be might be my chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Please don't. Mr. Wright, do you mean... Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh? Whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have testified. What is his or her name? Mike Meekins! No. <laughs> Bruce Goodman! No. Got you. I, I do have to know, what does it say if you present somebody who's not him? Officer, I want Walker, Texas Ranger. Why him? I can't let Edgeworth know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to the defense's request. Since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. The court will now take a 30 minute recess while the witness is subpoenaed. Will the prosecution please prepare the witness during this time? We will, Your Honor. Wait, who's we? Court is now in recess. I called dibs on the monkey bars. I oh, the, the swing. I don't no, I already Spies. called the swing. I've called the cream pie donut. You know to swim me in time out. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Ow. February 24th, 11.32 a.m. District Court, foot lettuce number 15.
There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Huh? What do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. It seems you've figured everything out. Um, I haven't figured anything out. Lana, you're the one who knows everything. Emma, you always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you. I... I don't recall ever asking for his protection. How can you be so cold? <gasps> don't you trust us? Don't you trust... me? I hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. <sighs> oh, guess I am. I'll come back later. Consider it, Chew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just disappears back into the freaking ether. <laughs> Wait, Detective Godshu, what is it? <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve, pal. I was drinking my coffee, making a detective run around while on duty. Thanks. And to top it all off, you call me here, drinking my coffee. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh! <laughs> I didn't skip that. That happened on its own. Uh, I start to say something and then realize that uh, Sky is there and go, huh? Hey, hey, hey! Like you're you're realizing. Uh, do you want me to backtrack that? Yeah, yeah. So basically, just start to like comment on something and then realize that she's there and react to it and then say all that and this line. That was all him. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that cup of coffee, I'd like a latte. And, I, hey, 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 uh, I, I, I didn't see you there, Chief Press Secure Scott. Thank you. That's okay. So, have you brought what I asked? Oh, 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 oh. You mean this, right? My apologies, Detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. My name? That's you, Shido. Make sure your mic's not muted. It's asking me if I want to set a hot key on my computer. Oh, you might have sticky keys on or something like that. It's automatically coming up with sticky keys, so I guess whenever that thing comes up, you don't hear me, even if I got shifts. Yeah, it sounds like the case. Uh, okay, I will backtrack. No, it's would good. Would you like it, to it, disable the sticky keys? It's just this line right here. I would love to s disable sticky keys. How do I do that? I will show you in a DM after this. Yep. Perfect, thank you. Go ahead and read this uh, line for me. Never in a million, million years. What I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring me the SL9 incident files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. The SL9 the incident. But, but Lana, that's... I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Here, you might would, you might do well to read them. Miss Sky was a witness? Joe Dark Killings. Interesting. Uh oh, sticky keys again? Onyo. Oh, Onyo! Oh, Shido, you still with us? Shido, you there? Can you hear me? Can yes, I can hear now? you now. Don't ask what the heck was going on with um, things. I was reading uh, what Crim sent me, then I pressed the key combination, then uh, 
web, web browser opened with Discord, and then everything with the poop. Yeah, I would just focus on doing what you can for now, and then we can try and solve it after the stream. I could do that. That would be perfect. That would be preferred. Uh, All right. Take it from me, you don't want anything to do with serial murders. <laughs> Cheeto? Oh, what? Now yeah. you, that I've brought you your stuff, you're just going to ignore me? Uh, Emma? But why... Why is your name in here? Oh, what? My name's in there. I, I don't know. Unless... No, it, it couldn't be. Lana, this LCL9 incident, is it... That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as the Joe Dark killings. The Joe Dark. No. No, Lana! That's over with! No! Emma, wait! She ran away. Uh, yeah, you know what? I just remembered I gotta be somewhere, get a PSL. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. <laughs> Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Demon Gant, Miles Edgeworth, not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't be just a coincidence. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I better take a good look at this file. Joe Dark, serial murder, sentence death. Victor, oh my god. Neil Marshall, might be related. Jeb Bates, Edith Kirby. Oh no, Kirby! Jason Knight, Rachel Moss, Edward Jones. I think this is Lana Sky, Emma Sky. Investigator Bruce Goodman, Investigators Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gant, Lana Sky. All right. Woo! That is our halfway point. <laughs> Straw Hat. Oh my goodness, thank you for the tier 2 subscription and welcome back for your 6th month. Get this started up. February 24th, 12.14pm, District Court, courtroom number 9. Get that music going. Hell yeah. Alright dudes, as you know, whenever we divide these into two parts, we have a nice healthy break in between each one. Uh, how's the cast feeling? 15 or 20 minutes? Either way. 15? <laughs> All right, I will I will swap out some fan art. I will grab a drink for myself, maybe a little bit of a snack, and we will be back for part two of today's episode at around 7.05. So everyone, please hydrate, use the bathroom, do what you need to do. We'll see you back here in 15 minutes. Tell your friends, tell them to tune in. Let's get those numbers up. Uh, outside of that, I'm gonna go ahead and run an ad. <laughs> and get a subscription, apparently. Uh, oh, Watashi, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription, and welcome back for your fourth month. So I'm going to run a three minute or three minutes worth of ads, get that sweet ad revenue at your expense. <laughs> and we'll be back at uh, 7.05 um, Pacific Time, 10.05 Eastern Time. See you guys soon.
Meekins rock. Meekins, Meekins, Meekins rock. What if he does Mad Clown from Kafka? I'm the oh. murderer. Oh, I just knifed him. I'm the murderer. I just knifed him. <laughs> Mad Clown from Kafka would work better for this case. Oh, I'm man. trying to remember how that was Dancing Mad, right? Or am yeah, I thinking yeah, of a different song? I was I was a big Final Fantasy V fan. I have not gotten around to playing six. Oh, someday. someday. Oh, Kafka's real good. Also, we welcome already... welcome back to stream. Hope you, hope you guys enjoyed that little teaser. We've been talking about if Mike oh, Meekins sang the Latin chorus from the Sephiroth theme song. <laughs> <sighs> Meekins for Twitch Sings. Twitch <laughs> Sings is going bye bye though. Yeah. Oh no! We've gotta we've gotta have a stream. The, yeah, on. the mod fucking Twitch Sings. Let's do it. All right. I'm gonna totally have my voice blown out. When do we want to do it? Set a text. Set a day. Maybe yeah, one of these. Set batteries. a day. We'll be there. Well, Labor Day holiday is Monday, so don't do it then. I don't think you stream then. Sunday, I stream multiplayer I Mondays. On, yeah, on that. He does yeah, I would say maybe a Saturday after after the live dub. When does it go away though? Do we have time? January first. Oh, okay. Oh, we have time. Oh, so we, got we, plenty of time. we can do it on the break Saturday after this finishes up. Yeah. yeah. Looks like it's the Twitch Swang song. Yeah. Oh my. Wow. The court wow. will now wow. reconvene for the trial. <laughs> <laughs> Emma didn't come back. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of guarding the, guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Damn, Edgeworth, you hot. <laughs> oh yeah, D didn't you realize we uh, killed Cyan? <laughs> yeah, we killed him. What? Oh. I ate him over uh, recess. What What happened to Cyan? I, I ate him over recess, Sean. Don't he worry about dead. it. <laughs> it, 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 was a, it happened, you, you were missing the gruesome horror I of was... it. I was eating ice cream and all of a sudden... <laughs> hey, don't look at me. I was getting water. <laughs> okay. Don't no, look at I, me. I, I ate him. Me. He's been befuckled, apparently. <laughs> oh, no. I befuckled him quite thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Well, I don't know. Alexiel, do you want to cover for Edgeworth while we no, wait? No, no, Cyan is here. Oh, he's here. Yeah, okay. we're doing a bit. It's a Cyan, come back. It's okay. Yeah, Cyan, no, no, no. Oh if this, if this, if, listen, Yoda, if, if we're doing a bit, then we can do the bit. I just, I, ne I needed to know we were doing the bit. No, no, we, were, oh, no. we intentionally did it because we didn't want you to know. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I actually I thought you were like, serious. Confused because I was not prepared to be put on the spot like that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Sorry, I woke up in a ditch. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, we're good, Ella. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man, same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Oh, I know. You're a patrol man. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, Your Honor. Jake, howling wind? I've never heard Edgeworth described that way before. A woo, Mr. Wright. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day the crime took place. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Is this uh, correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperado's soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. How did he get the job at the police office? Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Please share with us your testimony of the day of the crime. In plain old English. That was so good, AKL. You've really adapted to this voice. Day of the crime. My job was to keep a wary eye on that bone orchard. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. 
If I remember right, I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude or the fact that you were getting drunk on the clock. Well, I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, bring it on. What do you mean by two security systems? My left fist and my right fist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. That's my nicknames for them. <laughs> even my laugh is southern right now. <laughs> I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those. Yes. Well, what about the fingerprint activated locks on the evidence lockers? Fingerprint activated locks? <laughs> what kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? He's not being very helpful. Yeehaw. He's not that good with machines, or with following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses, now don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? Mm. Mine is cat girls. <laughs> Mine's uh, right. horses. <laughs> Worth two? Mine's being eaten alive. <laughs> oh. Mine's good sushi. <laughs> I think they got therapy for that one. This Mine's, entire court uh... seems like trouble right now. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wright, he's all yours. I'm gonna go uh, attend anger management for a second. I'm just go ahead. I, I think I got pneumonia or something, so. All right. How exactly did you <coughs> keep an eye on the evidence room? No, I just made sure nothing moved in the security camera monitor. That room's so still, even time dies in there. I was just a caretaker who interred the record. You interred them? The records. Videos and nothing aren't that useful. When the time would come, I'd erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes are to be erased every six hours. Each time I'd erase a tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. This guy is a flair for the dramatic, but it isn't going to do him any good. So, in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you, that ain't my style. Um, I'm afraid I don't understand. No desperado I know lets rules get in his way. No desperados I know join the police force. So, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime... Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? I would like to know the same thing. It is my awesome beard. You used to be a detective, so you've used the evidence room in the past, correct? No, of course. Back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry, partner. I ain't good with machines. I couldn't even tell you how a bike works. That's quite, a uh, incredible. It isn't, if you text him. <laughs> the sensors on the locker <laughs> handles cannot be seen. It's well known that there are some detectives unaware of their presence. Now that he mentions it, Detective Gumshoe said something like that, too. At any rate, it doesn't seem that this is relevant to the case, or to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. Not even Angel Steak lunches can beat that parlor's Vongol Sepia Pasta. Do tell us, you abandoned your police duties to eat some noodles. Someone said get nudes, so I just followed instructions. And you didn't share? Not all desperados eat tacos, partner, and that was very racist. That is not what I meant. That was very racist. I hope this is at least taught to a le lesson. That's strange. This is usually where the judge gets super racist. Or Edgeworth says, <laughs> Did you not want to race this <laughs> year? 
out of ammo, Officer Marshall? That's right, partner. Or as you'd call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me to this crime, then you'd better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is waiting to carry me back west into the sunset, and I don't mean car. Mm -hmm. One thing seems clear. Despite having been responsible for guarding the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have seen anything. Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Not even other Texans. Apparently your superiors don't. Okay, I have a trump card up my sleeve, so I'd best keep my cool. Before I use it, though, I'd better up the ante. You wish your beard was as good as mine. Hey, if you keep flicking left and right between the testimonies, you can keep making me drink. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. <laughs> right off the top there. Yeah, let my whistle. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Take, him, take the big sippy. Big. There, I have a bit to rival AKLs now. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this. Hydrate that cowboy. Okay, I'm gonna go get some water. Give me one sec. And you just because <laughs> you can you can hear I'm struggling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Be, Jake Marshall just gets too drunk and ends up like realizing that he's not actually Texan. <laughs> he lets his accent slip. <laughs> he's actually Minnesotan, eh? He's actually Minnesotan. <laughs> no, that would be more Canada, wouldn't it? Mm. His, his Minnesotan accents are. Yeah, they have, they have a similar accent. <laughs> I'm I am terrible with accents. Okay. Accent. How has he not shaved all of his hair off of his beard yet? As much it as just grows so thing. rapidly. He's just, just yeah, he's just so manly and Texan that it's just like I, cactus beard stubble. He can so grow his beard at will, just like <laughs> I I wish Texas I is had peak masculinity. I wish I had something that like said what the handprint belonged to. I remember us checking the handprint on the locker and saying it belonged to someone, but it doesn't say that in the evidence, so I don't know if I can prove it if I presented it. That's the problem. Are you able to? Are you able to check it? I can check it, but it won't actually let me scan oh, it. Do, like, uh oh, you <sighs> But that evidence said it was Marshall's fingerprint. Oh yeah, it does say right on the evidence, like right on the ground. Did it? Yeah, at the top there. Oh, yeah, Jake Marshall's fingerprints. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at the fucking yellow text, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's that your that, that's wins. your quote unquote trump card, right? I believe, like, I believe yeah, it should be. I believe that's my trump card. I remember I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. Found it on a bloody handprint oh, leather. But the question is at the time it went down is not the same as saying I'm just an innocent traveling man. So Trying to avoid that sub there, partner. Right? <sighs> Here, maybe if I get you drunk enough, you won't remember if I get it don't, wrong. Don't. You can't. Stop. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take, Mr. Take, what are you doing? Take the long sippy. There. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up water torturing him. All right. <laughs> I, if I, I feel like I was a street side saloon at the time it went down. <sighs> I'll let you know if I'm tapping out at any point. By the All way, right. I should be good. I feel like I'm gonna end up giving a sub. It's it's probably this print, but it's at one of these two. nothing to do pull the trigger i know right you that's a gun joke because texas <laughs> okay 
I'm... I'm gonna... I'll do it on the last one. I'm gonna do the last one. It's probably wrong. Objection. Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is, you being called in to testify like this? Hmm. After all, you weren't in the security room at the, scene, at the time of the crime. And yet, you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. Let's fucking go! Wow. <laughs> Perfect Let's track go. record. Hell yeah, good job, John. <laughs> Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. I pay my respects. That is, I make my rounds about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints would be in there. I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Witness, what is the meaning of this? Your blood-stained fingerprints were at the crime scene? The blood was wiped away. However, a luminol test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall? Huh. Seems to me. There ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall. About the blood-stained fingerprints? Wow, Edgeworth, you got manly. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. About Damn. the blood-stained fingerprints. Very well. You may begin your testimony about your blood-stained fingerprints that you found at the Spaghetti scene. sauce. After the blood-stained fingerprints were found. Bloodstained <laughs> fingerprints. <laughs> That's the name of my new band. What's up? My name is Sean Chiblaka with a bloodstained fingerprints. Let's go. <laughs> Found at the scene of the crime. <laughs> About to do all my time. Locker was unlocked. <laughs> okay. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in the evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The blood stain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? See? I had nothing to do with it. Hmm. The witness's explanation appears valid. Although there's room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something. I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it. Ain't getting my spaghetti. <laughs> can, can you just say, he touched my spaghetti in Jake Marshall's voice? <laughs> Hold up now. He touched my spaghetti. <laughs> Wait, How'd you mash day, gunslinger? <laughs> maybe it wasn't a blood stain. It was just the spaghetti gunslinger. sauce. That's because you, how did you put it, pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. What, what do you mean? I mean what I said. You say what you mean? And I, <laughs> no please. <laughs> I almost did it. <laughs> That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. All that's in there now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently, his fingerprint data was never removed from that locker's programming. He must have been using the fingerprint lock all this time without ever knowing it. So then, what about the bloody handprint? <coughs> it wasn't mine. It's no mystery. Please explain. My locker is covered with my fingerprints. Oh, did the storm get him? Oh, there he is. Oh, connection? Yeah, there you go. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. 
It just so happened. Well, I guess that was it. Chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no reward for me with a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? Unrelated? They're as different as night and day. Kinda like cereal and cereal. One's gotta do with breakfast while the other's a type of murder. He's right. Although they're seemingly alike, they're totally different. I don't see what homonyms have to do with this. How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up on the reports. There was a bloodstain at the scene, thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found on Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Hmm. So that would mean... The murderer, wearing gloves, happened to place their hand on top of Officer Marshall's fingerprint. Nah, that's the only logical conclusion. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? The seal of blood. In the desert, it's just food for the buzzards. <laughs> There's only one reality, and that's this. The security tape. So long as my trail isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. What do you mean by that? You want to tie me to this crime, isn't that right, partner? <laughs> if so, that video is the only direct evidence you have. But that video is next to useless! It's full of blind spots and soul-sucking creatures made out of cardboard! Blind spots? Places you can't see. Soul-sucking creatures? The camera is panning back and forth. The <laughs> floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, they could leave the room without being caught on tape. We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Wright, if you can show us evidence in this video that indicates Officer Marshall was present, then please do so now. Hey guys, remember that thing I spotted earlier? <laughs> yeah. Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might wind up being the one making the mistake. And gifting a sub. Now let's then, <laughs> let's have another look at the video. Show us this incriminating evidence of the witness, <coughs> Jake Marshall. I don't even need to go ahead and say because I'm so confident that I'm gonna get it right God, on I want the first him to try. Get it wrong. <laughs> I am feeling so good. I get to see Meekin speed up for the twelfth time today. <laughs> He ends up against a wall! Ha 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 ha! Pause it! Laugh at the idiot! Ha 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 ha! ha, ha. You got fucking wow. decked! Alright, now go now we go away. Please no bully. <laughs> Bringing our attention back to the security camera is a mistake I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. The days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. Could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video! Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. The key. 
lies in a certain locker shown in the video. The locker with the white cloth sticking out. That was the witnesses, I believe. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. So we can laugh at that corpse against the wall for a thirteenth time. <laughs> all right, enough of him. I'm sick of his the face. The blue badger will take you all in the end. Uh, right. Oh, white cloth. It's gone. What's the meaning of this, Officer Marshall? When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it suddenly appeared. Like a reverse J.K. Rowling hand wave. There's only one explanation. Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Now don't that just beat off? Order, order. It would seem that... Hold your horses. Sorry, partner, but you got the wrong man. <laughs> so what if my locker was open? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. The murderer needed to hide something, so he opened a locker and stuck it in. He's not seriously going to try this. He's... It's not my fault. He happened to choose mine. Mm. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? This guy isn't just playing dumb. He really doesn't know. Ah, uh, I hate to rain on your parade. But you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah? I call your bluff. You say I opened that locker. Now prove it. Oh god, we're on a fucking roll today. Let's go. All this evidence and I only need one. <laughs> a, a fingerprint sensor? We talked about this earlier today. The lockers can only be opened by the detectives they belong to. What kind of crazy talk is this? Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. In any case, the locks aren't that odd. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. So, Sheriff, what do you have to say? In eight words or less. Wow, get dunked on. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I only got one word for you, partner. No! <laughs> <laughs> Technically nine words. I can I hope you were flailing your arms as you did that. <laughs> I kinda did. <laughs> Order. Witness. Explain yourself. If this is the joke, it's the worst I've ever heard. I assure you, this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Uh. <laughs> what? What the fuck your, did you just say to your, me? Your new name is, is Hudge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please answer the question. What is he now, a bullfighter? <laughs> That's all right, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure the rest out from here. Look at these floor plans! <laughs> Sorry, I was dying. Ah, oh, classic v -Kalis. <laughs> <laughs> There is no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. He's still in the back. If that's so, then where was the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. I hope I do. He I sure do not, because I just said you did. That's right. The only possible conclusion. Well then, let's hear it. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the crime? He'd be in front of his locker, right? No, hold on, I gotta mute because somebody's laughing at He'd you. He'd be it. In... 
Okay, so right before this, they said, uh, okay, they said Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall, correct? Yes. Okay. But, but could that be because he was already unconscious? Unless victim killer, unless he was the one that assaulted Meekins. Meekins was the victim. V is for victim, right? Uh, no, V is for Vim Deckless. V is for victory. <sighs> I'm trying Don't to give him hints. I'm trying to remember V V. Okay. Okay. So it it seems like it would either be in this area. And he has to be the one that was in disguise, but I'm trying to remember, if he did, then how would he manage to do that and then leave the room? Because <sighs> I remember there was also the handprint that was here. No, no, it would have to be him, because he grabbed the glove, put it on, and that's how we ended up with a handprint that didn't have fingerprints. <sighs> the only other option is if it, there was someone else helping him, but we don't have any suggestions for that. It was already confirmed who K who was it was already confirmed who K is supposed to be. It seems like the obvious answer. Like, my only other guess would be... Because the fingerprint here was the one that didn't have anything. I... It seems so obvious. It seems so obvious, but that's why it's gotta be wrong. I love that Phoenix Wright has, like... Gotten you that paranoia of overthinking. I don't, I don't wanna screw this up! Make your move, partner. Yeah, make a choice. Damn it. Won't say it. You guys are making it seem like it has to be the locker. <sighs> Shit. It's somewhere on that screen. I know it's somewhere on this. I'm just trying to remember what they said about the fingerprint that was on Gumshoe's locker. <sighs> Can you... You can't check. I can't. The I can't. Record. Uh... There was a handprint on Gumshoe's locker, right? I don't remember ever paying attention. I think there was, but if I remember correctly, it belonged to Gumshoe. I got. I have to think about this. I have to think about this. You and big boy, I think. Oh my god. Big boy Texas brain. Right. He had it. He would have stood there. At least we're not doing this Jeopardy theme song in the background on you. Oh man. Now, I like if that you had idea. a 10 gallon hat, where would you nah, be? Don't, don't put pressure on him. I think he's already putting pressure on himself. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> right. If you didn't say well, Texas, I was you're this wrong. Second part of Emmy's about of Emmy's and like, don't put pressure on him. He's already doing it. Exactly. <laughs> the judge has time to go get his popcorn now. This is true. I am already full on ice cream. Also, I'm lactose intolerant. Probably should have. Oh, what? Eating this shit, AKL. Look, Literally. Okay. Very smart. <laughs> Look, Dude, ice cream too good. During your lines, we don't want to hear it. Ice cream is too good. Alright, I'm, like I, I'm thinking it's it's too obvious. Like, I feel like there would be highlighted blood here. I, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna just say that he came in. He The locker was already open. Obviously, okay, so here's the reason. There's the, Here's the reason. If he had scanned in after someone separate had come in, 
if he had if he had come into the evidence room after Bruce Goodman had come in, the document would have recorded a separate scan-in, and there wasn't a separate scan-in, which suggests that he came in disguised as Bruce Goodman, um, it's because otherwise there would have been a, di a different scan. So at some point, he comes in, he goes to the locker that's already open, described as Bruce Go or d disguised as Bruce Goodman, and and uh, tricking the camera. He manages to uh, try and hide something in his own locker because no one else would be able to access and leave. But the strongest evidence I have for this is that if it if it was someone else that was Kay and not Marshall, then Marshall would have had to come in on his own from the door to get to his locker, which means he would have had to scan a separate time and it would have been in the system. So based on that, based on that, Officer Marshall was standing right here. Hmm. So Officer Meekins didn't notice him standing there? That's almost as credible as Meekins' warp theory. What? The chamber's <laughs> empty, partner. Better reload. And that by the way, so I gotta creamy. just tell you, you do realize Bruce Goodman's the victim, right? <sighs> so I had it right, I just picked the wrong one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're worse. Worse. That Sammy and I were debating on telling you yet. that whole time because <laughs> you had it right. I I wanted to as well, but yeah, that would have that would have. That is away. the worst way to get it wrong. I'm so mad. <laughs> I had it well, you perfect. Didn't want hands. We were trying to be nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jesus. To Give figure. To figure. No, I feel I feel like since he got it right, but he got the mix up, he should be given that. I think he should get his. You you get a Texas pardon, partner. Yeah. <sighs> no, but you still you still have to pick the right one. <sighs> well, we could we could always pull chat and be like, well, too well, actually, never mind, too late. Yeah, <laughs> it's too late. late. I said, like, that's it, like uh, in an exam. Sean is living up to the letter of his own law. Let's, yeah. Let's applaud him. Like. I'm so I'm legit upset. Like I feel like I'm about to cry because like. Aww. <laughs> Okay, to be fair, again, Phoenix Wright game one logic is pretty dumb. I know, but it's like literally big brain moment, and you pick the one wrong thing. Like, ugh, fucking hell. Anyway, Dude, Judge, you go. Picked out, you picked out, like, the video evidence, like, fucking that. I remember I was stuck at that when I first played this. Go on. That took me, like, two hours. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> there. But, but that's... That's where the victim detective Goodman was. See, okay, but look! Meekins is standing there. Unless the camera's pointed, meant to point towards like the door. Correct. Unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in the video is Officer Marshall. It was you, dressed up like Detective Goodman. But that's preposterous. Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. May I point out, though, that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman. He also testified about the man's reaction when confronted. When I entered the evidence room, I asked him to show his card, sir. Yes? And how did Detective Goodman respond? Spawn, spawn. Pull the on me. <laughs> Something about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man had had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? Yes, he would have needed it to enter the evidence room, so he must have been carrying it. Take care, Susan. The answer is simple. He couldn't show it. Oh. As you can see, Detective Goodman's picture is on his ID card. Oh, I get it. If he showed that, his cover would have been blown. Officer Meekins would have realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say to this, Officer Marshall? <sighs> You've got quite an imagination, partner. We got a term for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence? He's still denying it. You're gonna have to do better than that to break a detective. 
Unless you have hard evidence proving I dressed up as the victim. Hmm. I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative disposition. I can't say I care for your beard a second time, but you don't see me complaining. I am going to fucking kill him. Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence proving beyond the shadow of a doubt that Officer Marshall dressed up as the victim so I can put his ass in jail? Officer Marshall <laughs> I'd like to see you try, bigwig. Dressed up as the victim. That just says reverse Goodman. We don't have proof it was Jake Marshall. Cell 92. So I wasn't paying attention. What evidence are we looking for again? I don't know. I don't remember. We're looking for proof that he dressed up as the oh, victim. Okay. Oh, this is a stupid one. Point of order, the design of uh, the blue, whatever that scary thing is, isn't it enough that you could kind of dress it and then undress it? It's a badger. Proof that he dressed up as Bruce Cohen. It may not even matter. I might still get this wrong. Proof that Officer Marshall dressed up as the victim. It would either be this or this. But the no, the uh, the knife was left behind. Shit. That just proves that he scanned in using his ID card. handprints in the lockers, but unless there was something in Gumshoe's locker. I think we already checked that. Okay. can sense the big think energy. So we're, we're trying to prove that that was him dressed up as Goodman, right? Yes. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I don't know. Who oh, am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. Maybe I should have just progressed. I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. Seems you're the one who couldn't take the desert heat. This can't be happening! It's so obvious he's the one! What can I do? Hmm. It looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. <laughs> I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you run into a wall with no place to go, return to the basics. The basics? For me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Oh no, Tez! 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 I think she's still at work. Uh -oh. Cyan, you liar! 
<laughs> How was I supposed to know this? You're the you're the no guy. Try thinking outside of the box. Thank you. Box, box. <laughs> Thank you for thinking outside of the box. I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence that came about because he was in disguise. Why do you think this locker was opened in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. Yet he did, despite the chance it might be discovered later as it has been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the defense's argument, Officer Jake Marshall dressed up as Detective Goodman at the time of the crime. Then, after the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that he opened it in order to put the cloth inside. So, what exactly is this piece of cloth? Perhaps. Perhaps the video is the key to all our unanswered questions. I don't have any evidence, so this video is my only shot. Very well. Let's take yet another look at the security tape. After committing the crime, the witness opened the locker to put away the white cloth. And I opened save this in order game. to save. Please show us why the witness had to open his locker. You'll never escape me. <laughs> but why would you ever want to escape me? Oh my god. That's the perfect one. <laughs> They really want to show off this 3D, huh? It's real good, though. That thing is staring into my soul. It, it doesn't blink. It doesn't have eyelids. It just keeps that that head tilt angle. Put some sunglasses on it. Battle pose. <laughs> I said Officer Meekins in attack mode. Oof! Dang! He sliced him! Holy Ooh, Christ! Look at how sad he is! Look at that I didn't notice him. Did he oh, you want some more, do ya? <laughs> <laughs> Meekins angry. Oh, watch the megaphone! <laughs> What's that on uh, the shoulder of the coat of the detective? Please don't give him. Yes, please do not. No, I was actually. But there's, it would have, it would have stained that. There's no way that he's knocked out. I believe we're not even supposed to say anything that could possibly yeah. change Correct. the thought process. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, don't don't give me hints. I mean, I was planning on checking that, but <laughs> that's the only thing that really stands out. I'm trying to see if anything changed on on that. He opens the door. Let's see if I can. Okay, if if there's additional stuff at this point on that shoulder, then I'll know that something happened. So hold on. Oh, the flat. Okay, so it's clean. It's clean. Okay, good. Noted. For some reason, you disguised yourself as Detective Goodman and entered the evidence room, though I don't know to what end, yet. Yet? However, something unexpected happened. 
Officer Meekins barged in on you. When asked to show your ID card, you pulled a knife on him. However, Officer Meekins panicked, and the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. So yeah, going forward, I'm not upset, but I'm going to say this for the last time. Please don't point stuff out to me unless I'm deliberately asking for help. I, I am confident I would have noticed it, but it, stuff like that, ruins the experience because it leads me to be like hmm yeah I should probably pick it so I'm not upset at anybody but starting now I uh, if it requires me to time out people or not have them be part of the voice chat to prevent this happening I will take action if people are gonna keep giving hints please don't make me do that because it makes me feel like a bad person <laughs> thank you <clears throat> the bloody white coat you couldn't just walk out like that. So you hid the coat in your locker. Uh, not bad, partner. I mean, I walk out in my bloody robe all the time. Now then, Officer Marshall, are you ready to tell us the truth? Looks like I underestimated y'all. I hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh... Two years ago. If you're only half as persistent then as you are today, we all wouldn't have to be here now, now would we? Officer Marshall, tell the court what you did. All of it. All right. It seems the time has come. Oh, all right, let me swap out some fan art real quick. We're, make, we're making good time. Like, I think we might be done with this before, well, well before 9 o'clock. But we are still going to stop once the trial day two is over. Um, or part two is over. So let me see what we got for fan art. <laughs> oh, we've got some good ones. Oh, no. Oh, we've got some good ones. I, I don't know how I'm going to fit all these. I'm going to have to shrink these down. Uh, so first, we've got another one from Currently Bothered. Here we go. I'm going to take a quick moment to use the restroom because I've been going through water because oh, of the cough. Geez. Absolutely. <laughs> Effeminate I'm god shoe. Save, so I'll be right back. <laughs> we have, uh... Giving Jake Marshall a bad time. <laughs> the bottle. <laughs> He's just gone. It's like the hundred bottles of beer on the wall, but like the yes. torture edition. We have we have a submission from Sirius Sakor or Sacker. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I'm glad that we have your submission. <laughs> Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. <laughs> we have a special guest. Absolutely pest, mate. Say hello to the crowd. Oh, I would like yeah. to see the baby. No. I would like to see no. the baby. <laughs> A I mandatory like special guest. Tell Show him how us the baby. Are. If you want food, give me baby. one more. What, what's this dried leaf doing on you? <laughs> give him one more. Tell him how hungry you are. <laughs> oh, you just want the high again, don't you? Hell yeah. He wants his box. There we go. Yay! Oh boy. Panda. <laughs> Dylan, you missed out on Panda Muse. Oh no, I missed out on Panda. Literally. Let's see. Okay. Got all that alcohol in your system, partner? <laughs> Okay, what we got? I did throw it to him, BZ. Uh, it's been better, but I can manage. Do we need to make you hot tea after stream? Yes, please. Okay. 
I'll just eat it over. It'll take like seven days. Yeah, you. I'll have to like put it in the microwave, I guess. <laughs> oh no, we, we can we can just go back and forth on this testimony. He'll keep drinking it. I have a better idea. You could make tea. It'd be fast. I do uh, have. I, I do have the tea set in my office. I actually might <laughs> brew some tea later tonight. <laughs> Some herbal tea sounds really good. Yeah, I don't even know what tea is. <laughs> it's Texas. Did someone tea. say blues? <laughs> <laughs> I knew something like that was gonna happen. Uh, actually, yeah, I would love, I would love some hot, hot water. Dude, but isn't yeah, Texas I'm... tea a thing? Isn't that a drink already? What is Texas that? tea? Is I don't know. Isn't it like uh, a, a spin <laughs> on a Long Island? I feel like it is. T Texas tea is usually slang for oil. Like car oil? Like like oil oil. Natural oil. Yeah, That's like pretty much ah, it. Natural oil. Oh, you use tequila instead of gin in a Long Island and get a Texas tea. Okay. Thanks, Google. Oh, it's also a drink. Oh, yeah, wait, you, like it's tequila. also a drink. Ooh. East Begid. What? We are we are ready to continue. My uh, I'm back, I'm sorry. He has found the nip. The nip. <laughs> While, while we were while we were waiting, uh, or while I was prepping his food, he went into the box and he discovered the. He nip. cut out. What? He, cut out. he died. Let me let me uh, see if I can set this up. Now I can be Phoenix Wright. Right. <laughs> Emmy slowly takes over the whole live dub. <laughs> Emmy is judge, jury, and judge a second time. <laughs> Live dub. Oops, all Emmy edition. I Judge, mean, jury, and ex execute evolutioner. It's, it's cat cam. <laughs> yes. Everyone. He's a panda. It's the cat cam. Panda. You're your boy. This is the content that I it's need. It's the bubble. Can you like pull up the the video of like the killing, but but superimpose <laughs> this video over top of it? Oh man. Just As they're discussing the evidence. <laughs> No, you drag Panda over the blue badger. It's like a yeah, sensor. There you go. Mr. Oh, Mr. Him. Wright, please show us in this video where the <laughs> kitty is. Marshall's confession. <laughs> I have to say, partner, I fucking love cats. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, I will ask you this once and one time only. Show us in this video where the beans are. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure he ate the the pill this time. Do we have to? Do we have to do like the ju the the judge? <laughs> 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 Every Emma single just, character. <laughs> Emma just kicks down the door. Where's the baby? <laughs> you all ain't doing it right. You just you just gotta get down. And you're like, yay, 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 yay. All all you have to do is just be like, mirror. Okay. <laughs> oh, speaking of adorable cats, my floofy boy is trying to fit himself inside a little shoebox, and it's cute. Oh. Sean wears socks in the house. Confirmed. How, Good. But it's hot. How dare Why? you say something that adorable? No, the water is overheating. What the fuck? This, your feet are porous. You let them breathe so you can cool down. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not barefoot, I am wearing socks as well. Sean so, doesn't have fair, porous I feet. Actually wear, I wear what? socks like pretty much the entire time around the I'm around the house. I, I only do it if I'm cold, which is always. So I'm pretty sure. I hate being this barefoot. Time he took a bite that actually I had love a pill being in it, barefoot. So he should be okay. So hey, Sean. We were all talking about your socks. Yeah, we're talking about your socks. Why? Why my socks? Because we saw your socks <laughs> and we're just like, yeah, it's good. Socks in the house, and yes. we're just like. But then we were also like, wasn't he overheating? Why is yeah, he wearing your socks? Because my wearing... because my feet feel really comfy when they're in socks. That's fair. Very understandable. It's also if I have socks on, then they can't get bit by bugs. Also that's valid. also very fair. That's when that's when you rub Tiger Balm on your ankles. <sighs> mm. So, cat cam. Everyone say goodbye to Panda. Bye, bye Panda. Panda. Bye Panda. Goodbye. Goodbye. Panda. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Happy trails. <laughs> All right. Happy tail flicks. All right. You ready, Jake? I'm ready. All right, now that I've distracted Jake Marshall with cats. <laughs> I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die.
I stole the detective's ID and dressed like him. I plan to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. I managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 5.15. So the supposed victim was really you. But there's one more thing I still don't understand. There probably will be one last chance to swap out some art, especially since we spent some time on the cat cam griff. So I will check back through um, before the end of this uh, stream episode. Traces of a large quantity of blood were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Officer Meekins managed to cut his own hand. My guess is he's the donor. It was way too much blood for such a small donation. When you say it, you mean... Do you even have to ask, partner? The SL9 incident. Two years have passed since that case was closed. It was going to completely end with the transferal that day. Not if I had of anything to do with it. That incident's not over. But what did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? When a case is closed, only that case's lead detective can look through the evidence. I wanted to have a look at it myself one more time. No matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. That case is mine. But Officer Marshall wasn't in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? That day was my last chance. That's why I... Why did you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? You know, committing a crime. Uh, hmm. If I didn't make it look like Goodman was carrying out the evidence transferal, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence, which wouldn't get me anywhere. So you dare to fool the security camera? And the detective ID card? I stole that the morning of the incident. So that really was why Goodman started filling out that lost item report. I returned his ID card. I left it on the floor in the prosecutor's office parking lot. The ID card I found was left there by Officer Marshall. So, essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. Task failed successfully. What do you mean, partner? I mean the fingerprint activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have been able to open that locker yourself. But he could because a rubber glove just happened to get stuck in the door. That means Detective Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. You pulled a knife on Officer Meekins and tried to drive him off? Let's just say I was a little surprised. I only planned on being in the evidence room for no more than five minutes. I didn't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. Officer Meekins is... certainly is a one-in-a-million type of person. Aw, oh, thanks. Mistaking a detective for an intruder and demanding to be shown his ID. I'll have to think a little more about his raise this year. When did Edgeworth get so much influence? Anyway. He threw himself at me, and I ended up cutting him slightly. I'm sorry I had to turn out that way. It's me, knock him out and everything. By the way, what happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? Right here? <laughs> I don't know the one that say. I brought to court? I'm armed? So you knocked off some weekends out, and... So you did your research beforehand. Those who go into the desert unprepared don't live long, partner. I didn't think it would make a difference, though. And the security tape is erased every six hours. If 
all had gone as planned, no footage would have been left. However, you bloodied your coat in the struggle with Officer Meekins. If someone was in the security room when I came out, the jig would have been up. I opened my locker and stashed it in there. What was Officer Meekins doing during that time? What else? He was sleeping like a baby. So what you're saying is on that day... But the blood found at the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you, blind? The victim shot on that tape is me, and I'm not dead yet, partner. So you stole from the evidence. So you stole the evidence from the locker. Actually, no, I didn't. Why not? When I opened the locker, the evidence was already gone. What? Mr. Edgeworth, where is that evidence? It's still missing, Your Honor. Detective Goodman's locker was already empty. Someone else stole the evidence. Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Yes. Fire away, partner. It's a free country. Yeah. Just remember, I'm also free to decide whether or not to answer. Why did you do this? Stealing a detective's ID? Injuring a police officer? This is no small offense! Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. It can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. We're gonna have to give you administrative leave and vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Not that salary that cuts so are that. ever a valid so- Phoenix! Phoenix is woke! <laughs> <laughs> Not that salary cuts are ever a valid solution. Hmm. Like I said, this isn't your case. This one is mine. And I'll do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Hmm. The witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear more. Uh, no thank you. But that case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? That's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. Joe Dark was convicted for his crimes. One thing I can first say for sure is he deserved his sentence. Now I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murders, didn't it? I don't intend to complain about how it turned out. But there's something that still bothers me. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. Why is he so concerned with that incident? Maybe I should present him with what I think his real reason is. I had a feeling we'd wind up here sooner or later. Everyone involved here is related some way to that case. I'd better take another look at the files. You know why? Because your brother is fucking dead. Man, there's you just a... You can't just assume his brother's dead. Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Sounds like you've been sipping too much cactus juice, partner. It'll quench you. I have the <laughs> SL9 incident file here. The name Marshall is mentioned in here. <sighs> In a list of murder victims, Neil Marshall. Are you related to this man? Neil Marshall? Yeah, I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago. He received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. What? A prosecutor? He must be talking about the King of Prosecutors Award. Now I remember Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Wait, 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 wait. How do I, how do I switch? There we go. Somebody's killing somebody when they don't get this fucking award. Edgeworth is next. No. Oh.
He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right. He was killed. And the case fell into your hands. But what's his relation to you? He was my brother. Damn, he handsome! Yeah. Oh, you said parents! You said parents! I said brother! <laughs> Eat shit, chat! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Right, time to, time okay, to get, time okay, to get in it. Followed, rude. <laughs> what happened? Same. <laughs> How is the relation? Yeah. He was investigating the murders with Damon Gant, the then deputy chief of police. <laughs> Same thing. Well, true. He is from the south. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be sad when you're doing this. <laughs> the group of detectives I was that I was part of worked under them. We were desperate to prosecute the killer. Great. <laughs> <laughs> the murderer was luxury all along. Thanks, Link, but please. Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. And that was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. Dark fought the law and Dark won? He was arranged and incarcerated. The case was finally closed. At least, according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. And that's it. That's your reason for your insane actions. <laughs> There's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department on the day of the crime. That was the last day the SL9 case could be reopened. Not satisfied with its resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. Officer Meekins confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. <laughs> the things that happen by chance never cease to amaze. At exactly the same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going on at the police department. Chance? It's gotta be more than just that. So if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's office parking lot was the real one. Which, in turn, means only one person could have committed the crime. Chief Prosecutor Lana Skye. But wait! A verdict wasn't reached in yesterday's trial! Which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. All right, I think I think enough time has passed. People are talking about we got some more art, so I'm gonna do one last rotation. First, we will definitely get Griff sketches in there. So let me save that real quick. In downloads, and we bring it in here. Boop, beep. Saved at 8:18. Fizz, if you will. It is my experience that things fall out when doors are opened! Is that how you found out your wife was cheating on you? <laughs> my wife was doing what? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic Meeks. What else we got? We've got... We got... That was the drinking. Students, we got... We got art from Firebite. We got some handsome, handsome, uh, oh, I gotta change that. Beep. Apply. Okay. Cool. We got some handsome Jake Marshall over here from Firebite. Let's bring that in. <laughs> Time to draw. Time to draw. Time to draw. I like that. God, I love that jawline. It's, it's, that's a majestic jawline. Oh, Legit. handsome lad. It's almost shaped like Texas. What else we got? <laughs> oh, this is so cute! 
currently currently bothered has some fan art. This is an entirely valid reason why a trial would be delayed. I can't even. I. Th he's right. He's oh, right. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you doing okay there, BZ? Yeah, I should make it. It's a kitty. It's a cute kitty. As long as the cough's not getting dry, it and should be fine. Finally. And finally, we have some fan art from Soccer Dreamers. Thank you so much for taking the time to create this. It's another cat. I present oh, yeah. this cat. That's so cutie. <laughs> and it has some beans. By the way, by the way, uh, I'll get a separate photo for this. Hold on. I'll move this down a bit. I'll move this. I can't see. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Oh, trial due to damn cat. it! He was he was chilling in the box, and I was gonna go get a photo of him chilling in in the catnip box, but then he immediately like ran out, like as I was about to grab my phone. So. That's what they always do. Yep. Yeah, so was gonna get a chill picture, but he ruined it. Unless he goes back in. Is he gonna go back in? No, he's not gonna go back in. But. There's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. There yet remains the mystery of the simultaneous murder at the police department. It seems to me this boy's got the draw on you, partner. All of the mysteries at the police department have been resolved, no doubt about it. Our sole murder took place at the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Sky. And the testimony of one Miss Angel Star is completely incontestable. If you have a response, make it a single word or less. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. He just got styled on, partner. It seems that this trial has reached its conclusion. I'm sure everyone in the voice cast loves hearing this music at around 8.30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> There's no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I don't need to waste my time. Disproving the alleged murder at the police department. There's no doubt what I proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera's tape really was fake. But I didn't realize... That would end up proving Lana guilty. Now then, the time for the verdict has arrived. The court finds the defendant... Of course. Oh! <clears throat> Your Honor, wait! Emma! The defense has an objection! A scientific objection. Right? What do you mean, right? Mr. Wright? Are you this girl's guardian? Uh, your Honor? Oh, <laughs> uh, in a sense. Please, Your Honor. All I'm asking is for a minute of your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edgeworth, please. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. He's so nice. I... I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out the SL9 incident referred to the Joe Dark killings. Now that she mentions it, the names of both Sky Sisters... The names of both Sky Sisters were in that file. But that's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day... So I knew his fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing. The other handprint. You mean the traces of blood found on Detective Gumshoe's locker? But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No, but I figured if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to get a clue. So I ran over there and looked at it again. So, did you find something? Um, no. Huh? Sorry, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. <laughs> um, 
Is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. And I'm just an attorney. But, Mr. Wright, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. If we can't find something wrong with them... Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone could save Lana, it's you. Me? Oh, boy. Time's up. Now then, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident at the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Um... It appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Panda is very high and very interested in the corner of my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, his eyes are half closed as he sniffed the corner going, Oh, that's my favorite corner. <laughs> it's a well-known fact that all cats love computers and all computers love cats. Oh, this is still me. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Mr. Wright, I'm sorry I can't be of more use. But still, if you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, Lana will be... Please answer my question, Mr. Wright. We don't have all day. It, yes, Your Honor. If ever I've needed to concentrate, it's now. What could be wrong with that handprint on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing? This handprint left at the crime scene clearly shows a contradiction. The only thing that seems clear is that you're grasping, Mr. Wright. You've been staring pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? <laughs> yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Missing? You mean something hasn't been drawn on there? Yes. Something that, when drawn, will completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Hmm. Let us pray the defense isn't simply trying to buy time. Very well, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence here, there's gotta be something I can use. The question is, which item can prove something is missing in the floor plan. Oh, I didn't mean to present, I meant to check. As they say back west, even a blind man can hit with buckshot. No, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on. It's Great. no use! Okay, okay, okay. So, hear me out. Try to remember what the evidence room was. So, what is it that bothers me about the blood mark? Is I was trying to check the video, and I didn't get penalized. So, I didn't get penalized. So here's what I was trying to do. I was trying to check the video because that thing was never mentioned there. Just because no one else sees it doesn't mean I don't. It's this damn thing. What about that piece of plywood? The Blue Badger, mascot of the police force, defender of truth. Guardian of proof. Eater of souls. Explain <laughs> yourself, Mr. Wright. Please look at the floor plans of the crime scene. 
The blue badger is not here. So? So watch what happens when we put him in. <coughs> this is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Well? Well, what? <laughs> That's right. So long as the blue badger is dancing here, it would be impossible to place a handprint at this spot on the locker. What? So that means... Well, what exactly does that mean? It means it can't be done. What are you saying? Blood traces were undeniably found on that locker. Don't look at me. I didn't put it there. Mr. Wright, think it through scientifically. Emma. On that afternoon... Whoop, 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 whoop. Officer Meekins was the one who brought the blue badger to the evidence room, right? After he put it down, it would be impossible to leave a handprint on that locker. So that must mean this blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in? Just one moment. I will not allow such far-fetched balderdash in my courtroom. It may sound far-fetched, your honor, but it's the only possible explanation. Are you saying it's sir-fetched? On February 21st, I mean, this is Meekins we're talking about, in the police department's evidence room. <laughs> sir-fetched? Blood I was spilled it. not once, but twice. B -b but how? <laughs> Falcon pain far fetched would result in evidence leaks. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> nah. One time was captured on this tape, taken by the security camera. Officer Meekins cut his hand, from which a trivial amount of blood fell. The problem is, the other time. Someone bled prior to the struggle shown on this tape. It had to have been... It had to have been... Detective Goodman! When he was really murdered! That's ridiculous. I refuse to accept, ac accept your absurd claim. The murder portrayed in the security tape has been proven to be a fake. However... That does not explain the blood mark found on the locker. So then, assuming this murder you purport really happened, when did it take place? I demand you show evidence to prove when it occurred. When did the first incident occur? To summarize, the defense claims that... Prior to Officer Meekins being cut by Jake Marshall, who was posing as Detective Goodman, another incident took place in that evidence room. That's right. The blood mark on the locker proves this. Very well. Then tell us. When did this first incident occur? As Mr. Edwards said, proof must be presented. Proof that shows when the murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence that can show that. Now then. Will the defense please present its evidence? And for a penalty this time, what shows when the first crime took place? This one, right. It's the only one that would suggest it. Someone who came into the Evans room at 420. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 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 Why is it, they're, sir? They're asking, <laughs> they're asking when, they're asking when it took place. I gotta go with it. Blood from chest wound. 
What shows when the first crime took place? It's either this or this. But we don't know why someone came in at 4.20 p.m. So if we're asking when the first crime took place, we need to know when he was murdered. And it's based on this, between 4 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. I'm gonna go with this. This is the proof! It's quite simple, you see. If it's so simple, then don't get it wrong. Uh, huh? If home was a Damn it! We wouldn't need to eat. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna need to pony up. Oh, it was almost perfect. Yeah. I was ready to give a copy of the game away if we'd managed to get everything else right. But alas, at the last second, it cost us. Oh, it's you, honey. You won it. <laughs> Congrats. You're Emma? Son. Yep. I'm waiting for this yeah, to clear yeah. so I can actually read. The first crime took place before the blue badger was brought to the room, right? <clears throat> Say, when was the blue badger brought there, anyway? Don't we have... God damn it, it was the other one. <laughs> <sighs> Don't we have an itemized list of just I got this ahead of myself. I got ahead of myself. If the crime took place inside the evidence room, then the killer would have had to enter it. Hold on. Bear with me for a second. Bear with me for a second. <sighs> Let's see if the, uh... Oh, yeah. Bathroom, then. Bathroom break for me. Yeah, yeah. Take a quick bathroom break. Why are you like this? <laughs> Pan Pan me as well. Panda had his head chilling over the top of the laptop and I was giving him scratches, but as soon as I went to take a photo, he moved it. It's because he knows. He knows. Could have been given him scratches instead. He's still trying to figure out where his world is right now. Low Earth orbit. Good boy. And in order to do so, an ID card would have been required. No, don't go on the laptop. <laughs> uh, ID card. Oh, the ID card record. Officer Meekins brought the Blue Badger into the evidence room at, let's see here, 4.50 p.m. If the crime took place before that time, then it would be Wow, the judge PM. sure changed his voice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Forty. Are you okay? AJ. <laughs> AJ. <laughs> Panda's in trouble. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Ooh, he in trouble. Oh. <laughs> 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 Just what have you done? <laughs> oh, right on time. I never would have figured you had the nerve, boy. Drop the act, witness. It doesn't take a lot of thought to figure out it couldn't have been me. Hmm. Nope. I ain't getting it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't understand either. It's clear from the luminol test that blood was there. However, when the second crime took place... Both Officer Meekins and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. That means the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murderer. I would have had just 10 minutes to murder the victim, carry his body away, and then clean up the blood. Unfortunately, that's physically impossible. <coughs> I mean, the crime must have taken place before Mr. Edgeworth entered the evidence room. Let's look at the chart again. There's only one other card number remaining. <laughs> My old password to Neopets. Ah, <laughs> uh, Neopets. Talk about a lucky number. Um, but wait, that doesn't make sense. It actually was my old password to Neopets. <laughs> was it? <laughs> I can say it because I've changed it, but. How could the Goodman have entered the evidence room? Since there's no record of his card being used beforehand, he must have entered along with the real murderer. That's the only plausible explanation. 
He went in with my old Neopets password. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please look into this ASAP. Find out whose ID number is. That's 17 too many, Your Honor. But don't. Unfortunately, I'm unable to look up the owner of that ID card. At least at present. What? Explain yourself, son. The ID number 77777777 belongs to someone with a rank of captain or higher. I don't know if that's higher. I assume that's higher. Turns out Chief of Police is actually the lowest one on the rung. They're the only two, though. This game makes it so obvious. If there's not, if there is not another person that we come across, it's either her or him, and we're trying to protect her. Someone who is a so-called executive officer. I see you flipping through that court record. We don't have the authority to acquire such a person's identity. But that's ridiculous! Just how? I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. There is one situation in which we can, we, can, we can be granted such an authority. If an official charge filed against an executive is accepted. An official charge? You're all alike, aren't you? With your cover-ups and your forgeries. That's how the prosecutor's office operates. I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I would appreciate if you would keep your slander to yourself. Slander, is it? Okay, let me ask a question. No. <laughs> oh, okay then. No, not to you. To her, the defendant sitting over there. Oh, that's acceptable. Your own little executive. <laughs> Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. Of course we've looked up her ID number. And it's not 777777. Don't play me for a fool, partner. That's not what I want to ask. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. The SL9 incident. Answer me this, Chief Prosecutor. In that trial two years ago, did you really only use legitimate evidence? Do you need the witness to repeat his question, Chief Prosecutor? I heard him fine, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, I was in charge of the prosecution for that trial. At the time, we... Occasionally, we felt the powerlessness of the law. At least, I did. <laughs> Lana! I became a prosecutor in order to suppress cri crime with the law. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. D defendant Just what are you saying? I'll ask you again, Chief Prosecutor. During that trial two years ago, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look, can you look me, an investigator in that crime in the eye, and say that you did? I'm afraid I'm too short. Chief Prosecutor, you didn't. I don't have to, Officer Marshall. D why would you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to. In order for him to get the verdict he deserved. But Lana! Even if it involved forging evidence. Kimi no ne phoenix right! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. No, no, Lana Dane, Dame, yo, Dame, Lana, yo. 
<laughs> Order in my in my goddamn courtroom. <laughs> the, the chaos could not be quelled. We'd have to wait until the following day. Woo! Hey! Hey, I made it. You did it! You did it. And I before it. closing time. Oh my god. Fuck, struggling with that cough, too. Two Yay, episodes. Two episodes remain, my friends. <laughs> oh, what a ride. Is it two episodes? Yes. Uh, uh, next episode will be Investigation Day 3 and Trial Part 1. And then Episode 5 will be Trial Parts 2 and 3. There's three parts? Yeah, I know, there's right? Three parts. Oh, dear God, there's three parts. That's right. <laughs> And then and we, somebody just realized this. We will finally be done. I don't mean that negatively, but I mean we will finally be done with the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I, I want you guys to realize. This is longer than I If we pull this off, we will have completely dubbed the full release of a video game like this. That's yep. fucking impressive. Right? Like, this, yeah. is, this is a full project. Every like... single line will have been voiced for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, don't, don't tell them that. Uh, they'll get ideas. Right. Yeah, I'm not getting paid for this. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting paid an exposure. Exposure. <laughs> uh, exposure. Oh, no. I get paid by hanging with the loving community. Oh, oh wow. that's true. But it pays the heart. That's cute. I, I get paid by being able to shit on Sean after hours. As always. <laughs> Let's. I, I'm so. I was so upset. I actually thought we were gonna be able to gift a, a game copy today, and I probably would have. I would have. I probably would have done it if I had only screwed up at picking between the V and the K. But because we messed up on the other evidence, unfortunately, it didn't qualify. Our hearts are broken once again. But we still have two more tries. We still have two more tries. But in the meantime, shoutouts to our voice cast for today. We have myself as Phoenix Wright. Emmy Ain as Emma Sky, uh, Asbel as Lana Sky. Do you have a different name you want me to credit you by, Asbel? Oh, uh, Twitter as on Mayatsumi, but Maya yeah. Mayatsumi. There you go. I'll probably forget next week too, so feel free to to yell at me when that happens as well. Um, we had AKL Trifecta as our judge. We had Cyan as Miles Edgeworth as always. Fizz as the incredible Mike Meekins. We had. <laughs> We had our volunteers, uh, Mega Gamer Alexial and Electronic DD, as our random jury members. We had, uh, let me make sure I get the name right this time, Shido Hari as our Godshu possession volunteer for the week. And finally, Bone Zone 66 fighting off pneumonia to become our wild cowboy of the West, Jake Marshall. One more round of applause for everyone for all of your hard work. Thank Coming you, back. Coming back after such a long hiatus. And uh, thank you, everyone who tuned in. We're finishing off at 80 viewers tonight. I'm not sure what the average is yet, but I know it's been going steadily up. I think last time I checked, the average was at 71 out of 75. Ooh. So we just have to keep it up. I, I It's that Crystal Chronicles week was a huge push. And if it falls off the rolling 30 day period, I don't know how long it'll take us to get back up there. That was pretty intense. So thank you. Thank you guys for all of your support. If Tomorrow it doesn't happen now, just keep at it, man. For sure. No, I'm not going to just suddenly quit. Like, between... We've got a schedule coming up. We've got Trails of Cold Steel. We've got Spirit Fair coming up. We've got whatever releases between now and then. Uh, hopefully, at some point, they'll add ReZero to Amazon Prime, and we can have Prime Nights, uh, movie nights together, for everyone who's got Amazon Prime. Um, and... Yeah, or if JoJo's on there, I would love to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on Amazon Prime. JoJo. JoJo. Sure. Oh, on that note, my friend Ari, who's got her sweet 16th birthday next weekend, she is. She was actually surprised to find out you uh, voiced Guido, Mista. Yeah, and what's really funny is I, uh, I happened to be reading the TV Tropes page for Games Done Quick last night, and it mentioned the irony that I ended up hosting the Pokemon Crystal Run where most of the characters were named after JoJo characters. Um less than a couple months before it was announced that I was voicing uh, Guido Mista. So they found that really funny. Well played for uh, not breaking any NDAs on that. Oh, I right? mean, yeah. I mean, I, I have plenty of experience learning mm -hmm. through colleagues of why you shouldn't break NDAs. Like, <laughs> there, is, there is a project that I'm telling you guys right now is bigger than Breath of the Wild 
and Crystal Chronicles for me. What? Yes. Huh. It's bigger than Breath of the Wild, bigger than Crystal Chronicles, probably on par with ReZero. I wish I could say anything about it, but I won't because it is that important that I don't fuck this up. Oh, so, hype. It but, just means that when you can announce it, it's going to be insane. But when have I ever led you guys astray saying that I'm incredibly hyped for something and it turns out it wasn't worth being that hype over it? Mm. To, to I don't know. I... Crystal Chronicles was kind of eh. I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid. I kid. So we're going to be game. holding auditions for uh, Mike Meekins for the remainder of the dub. <laughs> we already did that. We just uh, got to pull back. Fizz, Fizz, I'm still within the 90-day refund period for my PayPal donation I made to you. <laughs> Damn. Swing. Remember, remember, just this, this enough to cover from, it. This comes from a man who has told you that Crystal Chronicles is his favorite game as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's your favorite. I mentioned that. That's... It's time to put Mike Meekins on trial. <laughs> again for himself. Not, not again! Not again! Thank you for reminding me. I still have to do the mines in the first year of my game of Crystal Chronicles. I've been too late <coughs> lately. Yeah, if you right. need a hand, there's plenty of us to play it. So that'll do it for me tonight. Uh, do you guys have anyone that you'd like to raid in particular? I see we've got... We've got Morgan Want playing Nino Cooney. Oh, uh, let's do Michelle Nuts! Ooh. Yeah. Oh, those of you guys are sleeping. She's the isn't she like currently the voice of uh Jesse in Pokemon or what? Hold on, hold on, hey, hold on. What? Incredible. Michelle Knotts, who works for New York based City Studios. Let me check. I'm gonna make sure. Films, Pokemon. Okay. Yes, she is the voice of Jesse. Oh my gosh! Nice. Yeah, she's the in in the power of us and the Pokemon the movie I Choose You 2017-2018. She was the voice of Jesse, Nurse, Joy, Piplup, and various Pokemon. In the 2019 Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution, she was Misty, Jesse, and other various Pokemon. Oh my so God. in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, she was Squirtle. I didn't nice. know this. Oh my God. I did not know this. We are absolutely hey. raiding her. Raid her with Squirtle Prepare squad. for Bubble. What? Or prepare for Bubble. Oh, Prepare for Bubble? Uh, <laughs> prepare for Bubble. Make oh, it trouble. So cool. Okay, no, no. Uh, prepare for trouble. And make it bubble. Make it bubble. And make it bubble. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh my god, yes. So there's our rage like phrase. Uh, we come back tomorrow at around 5 or 6 for uh, Bug Fables because I delayed it on Thursday so I could help out the wife. Bug Fables on Sunday. Multiplayer Mondays. I will hold a vote on the Discord for what you guys want to do on Monday. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, we are off. Thursday, if we are not doing Bug Fables, we will start Trails of Cold Steel 1. Ooh. So, we will, we will begin Thor's Day. Uh, nah. and then Friday, like and then Friday will be Spiritfarer. So, we've got, we've got a whole new schedule coming in. Crystal Chronicles kind of marked the end of a schedule era, and we've got new stuff coming in. But I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for your support. As always... Love you much. Take care of yourselves. Let's raid. Let's raid.